This podcast is part of the Deluxe Edition Network. To find other great shows on the network, head over to deluxeeditionnetwork.com. That's deluxeeditionnetwork.com. Hey, everybody, this is Chase from Barrel Age Flicks. Go ahead and check out our Patreon for raw, uncut footage and early access to all of our episodes. The link is in the description, and it's only $5 a month. Thanks for listening. Hey guys, this is Ron. Be a part of our peanut gallery in our first ever live recording at the 1781 Brewery. We're going to be at 11109 Plank Road, Spotsylvania Courthouse, Virginia, 22553. We're going to be recording our first Broken Lizard film, Beer Fest, which is fucking perfect for a brewery like this. And that's going to be on Saturday, July 29th at 1 p.m. Don't miss it. Be sure to check out the Cigar Lounge, Beers, and Taco Stand, and most importantly, talk movies with us. We'll see you there. Ten hut! I'm putting together a special team. We're going to be doing one thing and one thing only. Killing Nazis. Sound good? Yes, sir! I'm going to assume you know who we are. Everybody in the German army's heard of you. You probably heard we ain't in the prisoner taking business. We in the killing Nazi business. And cousin... Business is uh, booming. <laughs> if you ever want to eat a sauerkraut sandwich again, take your wiener schnitzel leg and finger and point out on this map what I want to know. I respectfully refuse. Hey, Donnie! Guy's German here wants to die for country. Oblige him. An American Secret Service ad for this deep behind enemy lines. The Germans call them the bastards. These Yanks have been them the devil. We're all tickled to hear you say that. The Germans are throwing a gala premiere. In attendance will be most of the German high command. You'll rendezvous with our double agent. She'll take it from there. You're getting us in that premiere. It's suicide. What else are we going to do? Go home? So what's the plan? We punch those goons out, take their machine guns, and burst in there blasting. Is that the plan? That's about it. Or not. There's something you don't know. Hitler is attending the premiere. Getting a whack on Adolf makes us a horse of different color. We have all our rotten eggs in one basket. The objective of the operation... Blow up the basket. I'm gonna give you a little something you can't take off. You're getting pretty good at that. You're now in the hands of the SS. My hands, to be exact. Yes, 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 yes. Welcome to Barrel Age Flicks. This is Ron. Somebody punish me, please. And in the show we have... Hey, this is Stu. Get in my jelly belly. Also including, hey, there's a ragdoll. Vagina and Tata! And, fuck, fuck you, Chase. Chase! Yeah, fuck me. All right, hey, everybody. And finally, hey, this is Goot. I am Goot! What is up, everybody? Welcome to BAF. Fuck a duck. <laughs> <laughs> so, today we are I actually think doing. That's allowed. No, I'm, nobody's <laughs> fucking a duck. Uh, today we are doing our pig, fucking a pig. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck that's you! True. That's, that's true. We're doing our first Quentin Tarantino <laughs> movie today. We are going to be doing Inglorious. Yeah, no, we. This is our first one. Wow! Yeah, About time. Yeah, our first one. Actually, I'm surprised. Yeah, we're doing a second Hold one on. this year. Do we actually. need to all pay ode to him and like send feet pics to Mr. Tarantino? <laughs> I don't, I don't know I don't how I would he wants feel. to see our <laughs> oh, no, no, he probably does. Oh yeah, he he has a very. Oh, weird, I know he does. Yeah. yeah, but are they for like foot fetish? Are they for oh, yeah. pretty? I'm feet pretty sure he's on feet finder. He, he may have been an originator of feet finder. <laughs> he may be. Yeah. No, he is. He's a- absolutely on yeah. there. Yeah. Almost every movie he has, he's always focusing the camera right on the women's feet. Yeah. Uh, Kill Bill, Jackie Brown. I mean, shit, all of them. Yeah. <laughs> yep. But seriously, we're doing Inglorious Bastards. This is. Uh, Ragnar's pick. This was released August 21st, 2009. Shit, me and Stu saw this in the theater. Yep. We saw this back when it came out. Uh, directed by Quentin Tarantino. Other movies to his name. 
a great fucking list of movies. We got Reservoir Dogs. We got Pulp Fiction. We got Jackie Brown, Kill Bill, Volume 1 and Volume 2. Death Proof off the Grindhouse double feature with uh, Robert Rodriguez's uh, Planet Terror. Yeah. We got Django Unchained, The Hateful Eight, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yep. And only, also wrote, one, only one more coming out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which I think is called The Movie Critic, I believe. Yeah. 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 And I think or, he said it's... I think it's just The Critic. Something like that. But he said they yeah. said it's going to be his most violent film. Which I'm looking it's forward be to that. Yeah. Pretty yeah. fucking cool, then. But he's also written a lot of great films. Yes, he yes. also wrote True Romance, which... I love that movie. He also did the story. There's a whole background thing about the story of Natural Born Killers being done by him, but it was written by Oliver Stone. There's a whole actually class between Oliver Stone and Quentin Tarantino about that. Uh, He also did this one. You remember the movie Four Rooms? Yeah. Yeah, where it's kind of like uh, like four different stories. has Bruce Willis in it. And uh, he's also acted in some roles mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But uh, from Dust Till Dawn, mm-hmm. oh, of course, amazing yes. movie. Yes. He yes. wrote that, and he starred in that as his fucking brother with George Clooney. That's a fucking. That's a we, great we have to do that movie. Sometime I just love down the road. that film just because it's one type of film, like the first third, and then all of a sudden, nope, here vampires, bitch. Yep. Yeah, it's like two different okay. movies. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and they are not your typical vampires either. No. Yeah. Uh, this movie had a They're seventy nasty. million dollar budget, and it made one hundred and twenty point five million United States and worldwide. It made three hundred and twenty one twenty one million. I really total. thought it would have made more. I really well, did. Didn't you say that this was like his uh, so this highest grossing movie? It was um, prior to Django Unchained. This was his highest grossing movie yeah. ever. I think Once Upon a Time in Hollywood did that beat those two at all. I'm just curious. I don't feel like it would have. I, don't I feel like Django so. would probably be his highest. Django was his highest. Yeah, I, I think that's yeah probably the depending on what the critic does and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. maybe that'll be. But as of right now, I, I really feel like Django is probably his largest commercial, you know, success. Yes. Uh, this movie stars Brad Pitt, Eli Roth, which everybody knows who's Eli yes. Roth from uh, Trauma. Yeah. And also, he did uh, a great movie, Cabin Dude, Fever. That's yes, just a Cabin Fever. Right there. Rewatching movie. this fucking movie, Hostel, made me remember Hostel's great. or realize rather, when my dad was my age, he looked exactly like fucking Eli Roth. Oh, wow. Like <laughs> he walked up on the screen, and I was like, "Holy fucking shit! I forgot about this." <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> we also got Diane Kruger. We got uh, Melanie Lawrence. We have Christopher Waltz, who won. Christoph. F- Christoph. It's Christoph you. Waltz. Christoph. Yeah. Okay, I apologize. Christoph Waltz. Who also won an Oscar for this role, which was he was well deserved. That was uh, Tarantino's um, first um, Academy Award winner. Yes, was it? Yes, he had he a lot of nominations, nominations though. Yeah, he had he had it was eight nominations. Eight nominations. Year. Yeah, but his Christoph Waltz is um, the only winner for from Tarantino, and then he won the next. Movie Django Unchained, also, yeah. which his character was great in that yeah. too. And he won both of them were for uh, best supporting actor, yeah. correct? Yes. Uh, also, we had Michael <laughs> Fassbender, which I a small role, but a great role in it. Yeah. We have uh, Daniel Brühl, we have uh, Tia Schwinner, we have BJ Novak, we have Omar Doom, August Deal, Mike Myers, yes. yep. which was which was interesting to see because I saw Austin Powers in it, his voice. That was, was so weird. funny when he was on screen. Yeah. Because I, it looks like him, but it doesn't look like him. Yeah. So you're thinking, oh, fuck, dude, they really did a good job on like making him look like Mike Myers. But yeah. Fuck, no, it is Mike Myers. <laughs> yeah, yep. the, the best part is shit-eating gray when he walks in, does that smile. Is yes. like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then I the, love that scene, that whole scene, the, the empty room and everything like that. It with him in church. felt so right. No, yeah, like, no it was oh, very well. Yeah. Put together. Yeah, that is a that's a fucking for like back then for fucking spy shit. Yeah, you know only, that's all there is. You the know, only you, problem is the the author Pasp wasn't German; he was Austrian. Really? Okay, I didn't know yeah, that. That's the only mistake they made. Okay. Brief him. I was like, get the ass at the door. <laughs> <laughs> we also have Julie Dreyfus, so that's the uh, cast right there. So other movies to come out at this time. There's some actually decent movies here. I know you're gonna love one of these. We got Julie and Julie, uh, Julia and Julia, which I believe was some cooking movie. Uh, we have District Nine. Yep, District yes, Nine was good. Uh, Halloween Two, the Rob Zombie version. Perfect. Mm-hmm. We nice. had Final Destination, which I believe was the fifth movie. I believe not the first one. Oh, it's okay. just called Final Destination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And then this is a good movie. I know you like this too. Taking Woodstock. Yes, I enjoyed yes. that movie. Very, very, very well done. Yes, I because I, I'm a big fan mm-hmm. of the documentary of Woodstock. It's like a four hour where it has the concert and everything. You know what? All those movies. Are decent movies. Mm-hmm. At least, I've never at seen least Julia and Julia. It's, good. it's about Julia Child and a wo- another woman named Julia basically trying to uh, connect 
with that type of mindset that yeah. Julia Tr- Childs had. And so like that's so Julia and Julia. It's, D- it's, it's decent. It's District true. 9 is actually a really awesome sci-fi. And Halloween 2, Rob Zombie. I, I know uh, Chase that was one of your favorites when it came to the Halloween movies. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, the uh, that was a really good take on it. But uh, yeah, great movies that came out around that time. So Ragnar picked the drink here. So uh, what are we drinking today? So we've got a couple for uh, this wonderful fucking flick. Um, so in uh, the bar... The downstairs bar. Best sequence. They have, you see, well, you don't tavern. see, the thing is, you don't see the drink at all. Fucking you crazy. don't hear the name at all. Uh, so I had to do some research on it. And I found the, so that's a 33 year old scotch. I, I'm a poor son of a bitch. I can't afford a 33 year old scotch. What's that, six fucking thousand dollars or some shit like that? Yeah. It's that long. Yeah. But keep in mind, it was 33. Back then. then. Back then. Yeah. <laughs> it was probably yeah. cheaper then. Hey, they finished off the bottle before everybody died, okay? You're not going to find that. You can't waste it. Trip by kings. Goddamn right. So, um, (laughs) special place in hell for those who don't finish it. (laughs) That that was so, that was a fucking baller move right there. All right, listen, we are all about to get fucking ventilated. I'm going to have my scotch. Cool? Cool with you? Got it. All right. It was very gentlemanly like, too. It really was. Yeah. That's a respect between soldiers. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, so we have, Oh, fuck. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Do um, you need the bottle? No, I have oh, a bottle. Right there. From okay. Glenn. Glenn Morangi. There we go. Thank you. Uh, 14 year old uh, Scotch. Ooh. And oh, let's see here. Oh, this scotch, one. Scotch, Scotch, Scotch. I love Scotch. I like Scotch. Is, scotch. Uh, you said it's 14 years? Yeah. Aged in bourbon and port casks. Interesting. Okay. So, and then. Yeah, so let's do this one first, and okay. then I'll get to the second one. <laughs> so, this one's going to be interesting. <laughs> All right, guys. All cheers. Right, uh, uh, You're a little late, Chase. Oh, you can taste the port. You can definitely taste the oh, port yeah. in that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Holy fuck. Yeah. And I, oh, there's the bourbon. Uh-huh. Yep, yep. Right at the end. Yep. Yep. All right. Hmm. That's actually nice because you can pick this apart very easily. You're it's not having, got... you're not hunting down flavors or anything like that. Mm-mm. No, no, not really. Yeah, it's, it's perfect good. subtle. It's just <clears throat> perfect I like waves. how it begins. It begins and then it ends with a different. It's yeah. got two different tastes. Yeah, that's good. It's not bad. That's lovely. It's very smooth. I like very it. smooth. Yes, still has a little bit of a burn. But that's the best part. But it's yeah, not. But it's, it's not. not even, it's not like in the back of the throat or mild. anything. It's, it's <laughs> right there yeah. on top of the tongue. It's a, it's a mild burn. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a mild burn. It doesn't take away from anything. Nice it warm feeling. Gives you what you want. It gives you a nice flavor. Yes. It's quite fucking lovely. This is. You hear it? Shit, I would say this might be uh, one of like really your. This is the whiskey or scotch experience that you want. That's really good, actually. Like, this is this is what you're looking for. I'm gonna give it a two. A little bit of peatiness too. Yeah. Mm. This is a this is a fucking two. This is really good. This is very smooth. I love how it's got both the taste. It got that bourbon right at the end. Um, this is very. It's, it's actually really good when you aerate it too. Mm-hmm. Um, it's got a very smooth taste to it. And like I said, a mild burn, but I like a little bit more of a heavier burn. But the mild burn is still nice with this. Uh, but I would give this a two. This is this is definitely drinkable. Uh, definitely a sipping. Not a, you know, a shot like this. this is a definitely a, a sipping drink. Well, no, scotch is always good to sip. Uh, I, I know Thank some people you. that like to take a shot out of it, and it's not the way that you drink scotch. No, because you get overwhelmed it. by yeah. everything that's there all at once. Yep. And shit. Sipping scotch is, it lets you appreciate the the flavor of no, the liquor itself. All right, Chase, what do you give it? That's two thumbs up, man. Two thumbs I up? fucking love to have this on the shelf. Oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah. No, I've. Hmm. That yeah, yeah. It's that same feeling that you up. always get, like That's sitting all. down in front of a fireplace or enjoying a nice, uh, nice no, horror movie I don't or even any type need of that. movie. I don't even oh, need any that. time. So this is an any time train. This is this is billiards. I, I disagree. I think this is more of like any time where you're just relaxing, a relaxing. Or no, I don't mean I don't or, mean shitty billiards like at eight balls. I mean, I mean mahogany bookshelves and a well put together billiard. Uh, uh, you, table. You, you, you want to be fancy. Yes. You want, you want to this, be the is, bo- this is smoking jacket scotch. You want to be the boozy bitch. <laughs> yes. With, with a Ooh. nice cigar. Yeah. But it's flexible. That You can have it there 
or by a fireplace. I just feel like it doesn't belong quite in the camp fire outdoorsy grunge no because it doesn't have a smoky taste to it no that, that's not that's, that's more like campfire. it's very refined yeah. the price point on this 67 and change okay. yeah when i'm drinking this i want to smell leather and tobacco no you're not getting that with this no i'm not getting it out of this i want to smell that in my surroundings oh yeah all right so you give it a two yep Goop. Uh, same two as well i mean this is abc store mm-hmm. perfect because uh, this is perfect to throw a long day. I mean, a really fucked up day. You're going to pick go yourself to- up a bottle, aren't oh, you? Oh, fuck yeah. yeah. Kids go to sleep, pour, for, pour, this, pour this for me and my wife, and just, just fucking relax. Yep. Um, but like I said, it's subtle. The, the notes are perfect. It's a mild burn. Very smooth. Awesome choice. All right. Perfect. Stu? I enjoy it. I, uh, But when I want a scotch... I want a scotch. I don't want a scotch tempered by a port flavor or tempered by a yeah. bourbon flavor. I want a mm-hmm. scotch. Okay. So based on that, this is a very open and welcoming scotch for for the 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 the, the non scotch drinker. Yeah. Um. But for a scotch, I'm gonna have to give it a one and a half. Okay. I mean, it's still, still good. good. It's still good. Yeah. But. It just has a little bit too many other notes yeah. in it of other alcohol that muddles down the actual scotch. Not that they're bad. It just muddles it down mm-hmm. for scotch. Yeah. What's your go-to scotch? Uh, depends on how much money I got. Oh, you're talking about John <laughs> I mean, That's true. Yeah, I mean, scotch. I don't know. That get, fucking Macallan 12 year yeah. you got is pretty. That one there is very tasty. Yeah. Mm, what, what, was the one that, what was the one that your brother's neighbor brought? The 4th of July? Highland Park. That was good. That was a Highland Park 12-year dark or light? No, that, oh, was, that, was, that was... I have 12-year at my house. Or was his a 15? No, his no, it was, was like 20? No. It, it was, I think his was, was like a 16, bottle. 16 or 18. Yeah. It was, I want to say 18. it was 18. I want it, was to say 18. it was 18. Yeah. So was, 18 sounds about right. 18. Yeah. Yeah, and so, that was like a $500 um, bottle, I remember, because it was yeah, in no. a wooden casket and everything. Stu, Goot and I have a question. Right. Go, go ahead. No, go, you go. No, no, no. Go, you I'm, brought it up, bro. Come on. I have a part two to that. You go first. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, I, I Somebody was, make I was, a fucking question. I was drawing the attention so you could go. Oh, no, speak. I read something else. Go. Oh, what, else <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. What else did you read? No one caught those flavors. Well, son flavors of a bitch, you're right. <laughs> 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 well, okay. Well, I we wonder just, why I didn't catch those flavors. I never had it before. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Can you read that? Semen. Um, yeah, so velvety, bold, and deep with notes of mandarin orange, dark chocolate, melted marshmallow, and peppermint. I'm what? not getting the peppermint. I can maybe peppermint. get the chocolate. Maybe. That's a stretch. Now that you say it. But how about no. marshmallow? Marshmallow, no. Orange, no. I don't taste any orange or I could I could note hear of- somebody making an argument for it uh, but you get no, the I don't get any hint of any double chocolate in it uh, I I get some no, dark chocolate I could see it not double was chocolate it, was dark it dark chocolate, chocolate? Yeah. all right whatever I don't know why I said yeah. double chocolate <laughs> and I wouldn't say this is bold either I would not say this is bold no, no. it's mild yeah well, that's weird but no I I I think it's a it's a good pick it is but like I said just for a scotch. Well, I think it's, it's lovely, scotch. okay? They had a 18-year. Uh, what was the one that was well. in the, what was the one in the movie? <clears throat> 33. 33. Oh. They had an 18-year one there. Uh it was like 125 though. So, I'm curious how much the 33 is. Did you Fucking look it up? 6 grand. Oh, it was 6,000? Yeah. God. That's for the, that's for the, the people the that, that can waste that money. The price tag on that was fuck that. Yeah, yeah. basically. But right, right, the, right, the, the, the flavors do develop the longer they have. Yeah. The before they put in the bottle, mm-hmm. they do develop more and more nuance to their uh, things. Well, Ragnar, what would you give it? I give it a two. Okay. It's good. I like it. It's smooth. It's got a little warmth to it. My uh, little bite, little little bodiness. The legs are good on it. You know, it's bold, strong, flavorful. Yeah. So there's that. That works. <laughs> Gay! Great pick for the drink, though. Shut up, man. <laughs> it was a great pick. All right, guys. Now. Well, no, 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 no. Two. No, he was, he was talking about. Oh, I thought you were saving that. For, oh, God damn it. 
No, as Milch. No. Du kannst nicht. Uh, so, uh, so um, here we have a nice we blend of schnapp, peppermint schnapps. Yeah, Ooh. schnapps. Oh, oh. oh, no, I'm sorry. Peppermint, peach schnapps. I was going to say, you don't like peppermint. I'm okay with peppermint. Oh, I thought, I thought no, you I'm weren't okay a fan of peppermint. I thought you weren't a fan of peppermint. I'm fine with peppermint. There was somebody else that didn't like peppermint. I remember somebody saying they did not like peppermint. I thought it was you. Okay, maybe it was who. So we have uh, peach schnapps. Peach schnapps is good in just about anything. Milk. So in relation huh. to um, okay, Hans and Hans drinking milk in the very beginning of the movie, and then in the restaurant, and then schnapps. Um, they didn't say what kind of schnapps that I'd they were. I'd be real upset if I liked this a lot. It smells good. It, it's it, it just just hearing what kind of milk schnapps what and milk like whole together. no two percent two percent two percent milk oh so it's okay so it's a thick milk so yeah. you said schnapps schnapps so you you just picked peach so you you I mean because there's not there's all kinds of different there's all schnapps. sorts of flavors what made you want to pick peach because that's what I had in my bar gotcha. That's a good answer. Honestly, yeah. honestly I, when I, I hear, when I I hear schnapps, I think, I think peach. Yeah. So. We're trying to pinch schnapps, pennies here. Schnapps, schnapps. So trust so, me, that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, because they're ordering schnapps at the bar all night. So we're going to see how this shit tastes. Maximilian. Yeah. <laughs> Prost. Ah, cool. Prost. Cool. Ah, cheers. That's quite tasty, actually. <laughs> <laughs> what? That is peach milk. <laughs> it, it is peach milk. That is peach fucking milk. What are you fucking weird? <laughs> just, the, the way, way you the, said it. The way you said it. That is fucking weird. So, I don't, have you guys... Uh, all right. It's kind of like a, 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 a little Vine video that isn't uh, sent around too, too often, but there's this kid, kid in the back of the car, and he's like... Uh, yeah, no, I, I failed English, uh, had to take English twice when I was in first grade. That is why I'm so eloquently spoken. I don't know why. That's the vibes you just gave up off when you... <laughs> Ooh, this, this is, is quite, quite tasty. tasty. <laughs> Sorry. It's just... No, it's good, though. I, I, I'm not going to lie, because actually it just tastes like a... Uh, it doesn't even really taste like uh, any milk taste, and you got the fucking milk in your fucking mouth. <laughs> okay. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's peach milk. Yeah. No, but There's I'm serious. It, 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 you know what would make this really nice? You trying to give the lactose intolerant Or a milk? good time. The other one, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fucked You tonight. make it, like, warmed? Like, you know, have this before oh. bed? Yeah. <laughs> some, some warm over thing? Yeah. I've never drank warm milk. It's very relaxing. No? Yeah. I've never it's had warm milk? Pretty good. Never had warm it's milk. It's very relaxing. I've what? never had milk like... That's what I said. This warm you milk... Can before, you can get fucked. Yeah, I have no, no desire that. to yeah. have any kind of milk product warm. No, but not, I, not unless it's like hot chocolate. But the the peach is really strong. No. It's actually like it, it yeah. doesn't remind no, I mean, me of milk at all. It just reminds me of like a thick peach schnapps. Mm. That's basically what it tastes like. It's just a thick peach schnapps. Crystal, I swear to God, if this is your next go to drink, I'm. Does she like it? You're gonna gas out the room, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> yeah. Me and the dog are coming for you. Apparently. That's actually really. <laughs> that's actually so really nice. fucking good. Good. I'm actually. I'm gonna give this a two. This is I'm, I'm probably oddly, gonna be fucked tonight, but this is this is good. This is that, that oddly bit delicious. We'll, we'll it is. Hopefully, we'll see. What the fuck? Well, well, that's a two. So Chase, what do you give it? I'm gonna give it two. There you go. I just want to try it with that now. Oh, with what? The you, apple brandy. Splash a little in there. Put some apple. <laughs> he said, "I'm gonna do apple it." Apple and peach. Yes, this one. Send it to them. Oh fuck! I better turn my phone off. <laughs> quick, quick, send it. Quick. I, I already muted the bitch, Damn motherfucker. <laughs> Getting another punishment shot. Just a splish splash. No, a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Right. Yeah, give me more than just it. a couple teardrops. Damn. There was, uh, only so little because how much of our. Yeah. Right. I don't want to. Yeah, but he put like a dab. <laughs> All right, well, cool. What would you give this? Damn, this is definitely a two. It caught me by surprise as well. It's It's. This fight tastes good. Yeah. The only thing I'm missing is my pipe right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, that's the one. It's it, nice. My big's bigger than your big but it dick does with the whole fucking pipe thing in that. Kind of water scene. down the, the peach flavor so, also. Uh, what I actually meant to say is I want to try milk with the apple schna- okay. apple brandy. Okay. Um, but, you know, trying it with yeah. it is cool, uh, too. I, get, cool. I, I am getting both flavors. I am. 
but they, they kind of are fighting, so they mellow each other down. Oh, that smells fucking amazing. You're talking, yeah. about, the, you're talking about the milk and the Ooh. peach? Oh, no, so... <laughs> yeah, so just, go, go ahead and review the milk All and right, the peach. All right, so the milk and the peach knobs? <laughs> two. Absolutely two. two. Yeah. Cool. It's so weird, peach milk. Yeah. It's so fucking weird. <laughs> but, yeah, this is really fucking nice. Um, but then with the apple brandy poured in also, um, it might be better just one or the other uh, because they mute <laughs> yeah. each other down. Wrong. Um, but it's still good. good. Yeah, it's, it's just weird. It meets it, right? Yes. Yeah. It takes the peach out a little bit. I don't know. I think I'm just. I just want this as an air freshener. Fuck. You know, I never thought that fucking uh, flavors like this mixed in milk would be good. Smitty, 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 smitty. I mean, milk, <laughs> milk and cream are when done. Weird. You know, they're they're good mixers. <laughs> they are. There's lots of drinks that have milk or cream as yeah. the mixer. For the yeah. record, anybody out there who wants to know what we're talking about, it's Paul Masson Apple Brandy. It's about thirteen dollars a bottle. It is a hangover in a bottle. Oh, it is it's, it's all the sugar in the world. It's an, yeah. It tastes fucking delicious. It's You're alcoholic. Gonna feel like shit the next Apple day. Jolly yeah, Ranchers. Really that's yeah, that's, that's all it is. Like it's so good. Ragnar, what do you give it? Two. I'm very surprised. That's two surprised. I'm very board. fucking surprised on this thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Would you have that again? Yeah, I would yeah. actually. Did you just completely make this up, or was it something that you read online? Or no, no, you no. made it up because he said that he was just looking for a schnapps good to job. go with it, and you picked the peach schnapps. But yeah. peach schnapps is really good in just about anything. I, I actually enjoy peach schnapps because it's in a, a lot of cocktails, and I always love that. Peach I enjoy taste. schnapps. Period. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think there's a schnapps that I've come across that I do not enjoy. So the, uh, unless it was uh, dra- unless it was that <clears throat> what's the fruit that's in the uh, hypnotic. <clears throat> So peach schnapps is a no, key I have ingredient. Found, no, in, the, the reason I don't like hypnotic is it's because it tastes like rotten fruit. You yeah, said. and yeah. all of it is just it's, it tastes like rotten yeah. fruit. It's just too too fucking much nastiness. Yeah. yeah, peach schnapps is a key ingredient in one of my favorite party time drinks. We used to call it. We just call them Jolly Ranchers, but it was like a third coconut rum, a third peach schnapps, and straight vodka, another third, and then you could just flavor that with. A little bit of like a, a, f- a fruit soda or something like that. Yeah. You don't taste any alcohol. You're too in and you can't even fucking talk. Could you guys well, see that's this? normal for you? Yeah. Well, no, like for other people in the room too. <laughs> <laughs> well, could you just no, if, it, if, it, if, it, if it made Ragnar not be able to talk after two, you would be dead. <laughs> I know. After two. But I got a question. What do, you think, what do you think of this with vanilla ice cream in a fucking blender and blend it up? Oh. Slap so fucking hard. No, I, I'd be worried that the vanilla would mute. You think the vanilla would? I, I'd be worried the vanilla would mute the peach, and the peach would mute the vanilla. So okay. it wouldn't be just based on. So you don't think a vanilla milk. with the apple already? Yeah, yeah. I, I think oh, milk is good to carry one flavor. I think if you add multiple flavors, it'll start muting each other okay. too much. Okay, I, that was just an idea. But hey, no, great job, Ragnar. Seriously, on both your drinks, awesome. All right, guys. Well, we will be right back. It looks like I just jizzed on my um, if you my, like my, cough, Venus, my, my cough protector on my mic because oh. the milk particles that are coming out <laughs> it's on a podcast. Yeah, it Steve is. Just jizz in his mouth. Yeah, it, it looks like, like too excited. Jizz is coming out of my mouth right now. Are you? Are you? Spittle. What were you are doing you before speaking, you got here? Are you speaking moistly oh, no. on the mic? <laughs> mm. I'm not. No, we'll be right back. <laughs> Join host Dave Houghton and Sarah Ray Pallet as they examine the less glamorous side of sports with their podcast, In a Pickle. Follow IAP Radio on social media by going to iapradio.com. In a Pickle is now part of the Den Network. For more information, go to iapradio.com. And now that we are back with the show. (laughs) Fucking watermelon crap, asshole. Uh, Gotcha. All right, Ragnar. So, why did you pick I'm this? I'm so movie? glad I got that on tape. Good Shut job the fuck on that up. one. Why did I pick it? I mean, why the fuck not? It was a badass fucking movie. Honestly, this is a how-to fucking instructional video on focusing your hate into constructive uh, venues. You know? Yeah. Yeah. yeah pretty much. In the making. Which I believe this was one of his. Really? The, you know, he had this script made in the early yeah. '90s. Damn. He yeah. wrote chapters one and two ten years. Yeah. Or, yeah, ten years ago before directing it so but i brought this up to uh uh ragnar um that you didn't know about that that actually sylvester stallone was one of the ones so i looked this up i couldn't find anything oh yeah 
I couldn't find anything about him being considered for. I heard this was the a rumor whole, too. It was a rumor back in uh, uh, MovieWeb. It was either coming soon net, dot net or MovieWeb where uh, so what he wanted for the character he wanted Sylvester Stallone. He wanted to get a lot. He even wanted to get Arnold Schwarzenegger. He wanted to get like Bruce almost Willis. like almost like Expendables type for the Inglorious oh, Bastards. Yeah, that yeah. wouldn't have worked. Yeah, honestly. thank God it didn't work. No, no shit, it wouldn't have fucking worked at all. But what do you think, Brad Pitt? I mean, do you think Brad he pulled Pitt it off? did a fucking amazing job? Bon yeah, Jarno. Yeah. <laughs> so his um, accent was ass, but no, it was fucking it played well to I, the character so so well. No, it did. His accent was fucking perfect. He he's for used the it. character. Yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. used that accent for another character before. What other movie has he used that before? I don't know. I could have sworn he's used that for another movie. Fuck. I don't think so. No, maybe I'm wrong. I, I could have sworn he used it for like legend. A, no. No. <laughs> no, legend. Really That's funny. Fuck. So no, no, the, was, there was a roundtable with Brad Pitt and Tarantino. He and, used uh, the when he, Yeah, when he got the script, <laughs> yeah. he just did it automatically, and the whole room fucking burst out laughing. Goes, "That's your fucking accent." Yeah. <laughs> no, that's why we just start speaking <laughs> well, Italian. Sure is fucking <laughs> great. <laughs> Do I me? So, or right, um, <laughs> So the Gore movie. Lammy. The <laughs> the movie is the is based solely in name from the original one, mm -hmm. even though it's misspelled. And he did that on purpose. Yes. Um, because he didn't want it to be um, connected to the original in any way, because the original was made in 78. Um, and it's got uh, Bo Svensson in it and uh, Fred Williamson. Oh, you know that Casey from the Deluxe Editions actually uh, – Works uh, with Bo. Huh? He works with Bo. No, they're making a movie. Uh, me and Casey have been talking about it. They're actually going to be putting a uh, a thing, and there's a whole thing. Yeah. Well, oh, no shit. Yeah. Nice. Because he's friends with them, and they're, you, you're just trying to make a movie made, and they're actually going to be getting a, uh, um, I believe, a... Uh, hey, let's all make sure we're background characters. Um, so the original, comparing it to this one, is not even close to the same. The I think I talked to you about it. Yeah. Um, the original is basically, it's set in the same time frame, but... Is basically a bunch of fucking rejects from the army, almost like the Dirty Dozen. Eh, a little. Hmm. And Mikhail, Mikhail Davy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit more like that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you've got um, their lieutenant is he's in trouble because he's a pilot and he's he gets caught three or four times. Taking flying his plane over to London to go see his girlfriend. Yeah, and then you've got uh, <laughs> Fred crazy. Fred Williamson. He gets uh, he's in trouble for murdering um, another sergeant, I think. Uh, then you've got a thief, um, a uh, a deserter, and a fucking handful of other guys. And the whole premise of the movie itself is they. Um, they're try they're gonna escape because they start getting attacked and go to Switzerland. Mm -hmm. They never make it, so <clears throat> um, then they get roped into this whole covert operation to stop um stop a train that's got a a fucking missile on it, and what they're trying to do is basically steal the the gyro system. Off the fucking off the warhead. I think I've seen this. I uh, may have. I don't know. That sounds very familiar. Well, it's a sim very similar plot. Yeah. And in the end, basically everyone fucking dies except for one guy. And so it's almost like a Suicide Squad, more or less. Yeah. You know. So that's basically the premise of um that the that particular movie. There. Looking look doing a little bit of research on it. So Lieutenant Aldo Rain was an actual person hmm. in World War II. They had, there was actually, Inglo the Inglorious Bastards were real. Yeah. There's three of them. And they, um, they, there's a whole bunch of fucking information on it. Um, I'm not going to go into a lot of fucking detail. It's was it entertaining? Lot. It's it, The movie itself is not that bad. I mean, considering, like, it's made in 78, you know, there's other movies during that time frame that were better. Yeah. You know, but it's a 78s movie. Well, I mean, Tarantino so, does the same thing with Django because that's actually based on a Western, also. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, but it was it was a oh, the D is silent. Yes, I know. Because uh, even the song plays in Django Unchained that was in the original and stuff yeah. like that. But uh, 
Oh, it, so basically he just pulled the name. That's all he did. That's all he did. Yeah. Um, so this movie here, the wonderful and glorious bastards, not the bastards. Um, Bastardo. I thought the same thing, Bastardo. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, we talked a, a little bit before about um, different characters and shit that were supposed to be um, considered and played and shit. The movie itself uh, took him 10 years to write it because he started writing it and then he stopped because Christoph Waltz, his character, he wrote this, he wrote that part and then stopped because he thought it was too, the character was too um, unbelievable. Hmm. It was oh, yeah. not, so the, not, the, not the unbelievable, character. but um, the Jew di- hunter? difficult. Yeah. Difficult yeah. to play. Yeah. Um, just think about it. Only Christoph Waltz could pull off that role. Yeah. Because I think what Leonardo DiCaprio was considered for that role as well. Leo was yep. considered for it as well. No, that I didn't know. Yeah. So is Christoph fluent in multi language? Oh, yes. He is. Okay. Yes. That's so what I thought. He's he, fluent he spoke in German, easily. French, Italian, English. Um, English. and English. Yeah. So that's yeah, why. That's, that's what I thought. Did yeah. Christoph spoke really do anything before well. this? No, no that, oh, this is this is the right. movie that put yeah. him on the this is the movie that put him on the map in the uh, in the states because yeah. I believe he was in a lot of German films and stuff like that, and I think this one actually put him on the map, and then he started becoming big and started becoming wonderful he was actually, actor, wonderful. He was in a, he he was in a, he was a, a movie. Actor. He really is. Remember that movie? I don't know if you've seen it uh, from Terry Gilliam that he did, where he's bald. It's uh, God. It takes place in the future. I don't know if you've seen it. Take a look at it. But uh, also, he started in that other movie about the circus uh, with um, uh, Robert Pattinson. I forgot what it was called, but uh, he, he was all over the place. He was in the Tim Burton movie, uh, Big Eyes, which actually is a very good movie. If, I don't know if you all have seen that one. I have not. Uh, yeah, about a, uh, uh, um, a fucking uh, artist, and uh, her husband takes all the credit for her work. It's actually a really decent movie. It's but with those. Uh, remember you ever seen those uh, portraits where everything, all the people have big eyes? Is it about Joss Whedon? Oh, no, you're talking about um, Alita. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, Angel, the movie yes. Big Eyes. No, okay. no, no, nobody else. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Fuck no. you guys. <laughs> Alita the Battle Angel, and then Big Eyes. The reason is, okay, I, I forgot that he was in that. Yeah, I he forgot that, that he yeah. was in that. But no, there was another movie he did uh, with Terry Gilliam. Look up Terry Gilliam's films, and you'll find out what I'm talking about. Hold on. But yo, Alita's really good. I only just hmm. recently got yeah, to see a lot of. They're it. making a sequel. Good. Yeah, it's been greenlit for a yeah. sequel. Yeah, yeah. I look, I look forward to that. But uh, no, he he, Chris Roll. Christoph Waltz did a great, did a yeah. great <laughs> fucking job. It. Yeah, he put that a watch, put a watch oh in his ass. Oh my god! I'm just thinking him speaking German would be fantastic to listen to. <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> but it wasn't just his <laughs> the and way yeah, that I, it, I, I nicht, um, uh, It's the joy that know, he had in his. Oh yeah, zero theorem. That's what I'm talking that's about. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Weird fucking movie. <laughs> that means Terry Gilliam. I mean, his movies can be weird. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he was bald and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I totally forgot that. Uh, you know about him. And yeah, that. but which uh, the main character. So <laughs> the thing I love about Christoph Waltz is basically how, even though he's a you know a Jew hunter, he's a killer and everything else. You're trying to hunt all the Jews. He's a bad person, but he has so much happiness in his the way that he talks to everybody. He's very he's, charismatic. Yes. Oh, okay. He yes. is charismatic. He is also exceptionally professional. Yes. yes. He's very. His professionalism is above all else. Yes. So he's I would very say, fucking professional. Yeah. I think I think he depicts probably a psychopath very no, well. No, no, he Bingo. is. Go. I he love is. how he says that. His little, his little. <laughs> oh, look at uh-huh. us. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But also, like in the you know towards the end of the film where he's making the deal, he he's able to read the. You know the weather and uh-huh. uh, I'm saying he's like, all right, I know how this is gonna go, and I also know how easily this pill will be to swallow to your generals and so like, I helped and shit like that. He is just a, a very an intelligent <laughs> man. No, he wanted a home on the island, yeah. Nantucket, yeah, a piece of property. Yep. He is a, a very realist mentality. Yeah, he, he understands. Yeah. He has to do what he has to do to survive. Uh-huh. Well, no, Plans the up. opening scene where he says, "You know, I was, you know, I came from the Alps, and yeah. uh, Hitler wanted me to uh, hunt the Jews because I can, I can visualize it. I'm the hawk, yeah. and uh, I know what a person does when they lower that dignity and become mm-hmm. something else. I know the extremes they'll go to. Mm-hmm. I can think like a Jew. And damn right. Yep. yep. But the Jews can't think like me. <laughs> <laughs> and that the opening scene there pretty much tells you. Uh, it gives you a good idea of um, what's going to happen in the movie itself. It set the stakes perfectly. Did everybody? Well, it, well I wouldn't say. I really wouldn't say stakes. 
I would say it planted a seed. Sirloins? I said it, I would say it planted a seed. Yes. For what would happen in the yeah, movie. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But what's what actually I would say set the stakes was the direct scene afterwards, which is this one right here. My name is Lieutenant Aldo Rain, and I'm putting together a special team, and I need me eight soldiers. Eight Jewish American soldiers. Now, y'all might have heard rumors about the Armada happening soon. Well, we'll be leaving a little earlier. We're going to be dropped into France, dressed as civilians. Once we're in enemy territory, as a bushwhacking guerrilla army, we're going to be doing one thing and one thing only. Killing Killing Nazis. 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 Now, I don't know about y'all, but... I sure as hell didn't come down from the goddamn Smoky Mountains, cross 5,000 miles of water, find my way through half of Sicily, and jump out of a fucking aeroplane to teach the Nazis lessons in humanity. <laughs> Nazi ain't got no humanity. Fucking beautiful. <laughs> yeah. They're the foot soldiers of a Jew-hating, mass-murdering maniac, and they need to be destroyed. That's He's why any and every some bitch we find wearing a Nazi uniform, they're gonna die. Yep. Now, I'm the direct descendant of the mountain man, Jim Bridger. That means I got a little engine in me. And our battle plan will be that of an Apache resistance. We will be cruel to the Germans. And through our cruelty, they will know who we are. And they will find the evidence of our cruelty in the disemboweled, dismembered, and disfigured bodies of their brothers we leave behind us. And the German won't be able to help themselves. But imagine cruelty their brothers endured at our hands and our boot heels and the edge of our knives and the german will be sickened by us and the german will talk about us and the german will fear us and when the german closes their eyes at night and they're tortured by their subconscious for the evil they have done it will be with thoughts of us that they are tortured with sound good yes sir that's what I like to hear. I love how Eli Roth is up But I got a word of warning smiling. for all you would-be warriors. When you join my command, you take on debit. A debit you owe me. Debit. Personally. <laughs> Not debt. Each and every man under my command owes me 100 Nazi scalps. And I want my scalps. And all y'all will get me 100 Nazi scalps taken from the heads of 100 dead Nazis. Or you will die trying. Well, now, to now, is that, now is that a hundred per or a yes. hundred total? No, per. No. 100 I want a hundred. Yeah. Each yeah, soldier yeah. owes yeah. me one hundred. So you think an eight, eight men? That's eight hundred. Eight hundred fucking scalps. Yeah. All right. It's a lot Hugo's of dead Nazis. Nine, so Damn right. Aldo's a thousand. Mm-hmm. You guys notice the, uh, the scar around his neck? Oh, yeah, yes. throat, the throat slit. Yeah. No, no, it was lynch. It was a lynching. attempted I, lynching. Was it? Yes. Okay. If you look at the the screen, the uh, actual script, uh, or it's actually the homages to like you know how much Tarantino loves Western movies and like it's an homage to the Good, Bad, and the Ugly with Tonto almost mm. being lynched. Yep. So I, I thought it was a little too wide for a, a knife inflicted wound. That would have been a very big. <sighs> that would have been an axe blade. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but it's talked been. about a little bit. <laughs> a hatchet, you know, in yeah. the film a tomahawk, itself. Yeah. possibly. From, <laughs> that's why I don't live there in the not, not directly talked about. No like, more. That's why he's Aldo indirect. the Apache. Yeah. God. No, I, I think that that right there label. I mean, that already tells you what the movie is going to be right there. Mm-hmm. And you you no, fucking was, love his character, and he's he's no, like, like right. I that's, don't take no fucking bullshit from anybody, and. You know, I'm gonna carve this fucking not this um these swastika right on your fucking forehead because this is what well, in the business we like to call psychologically uh, psychological fuckery. Yeah, this is a booming, <laughs> and this is something that America has long done and continues to do. Hey, we we know our strengths. All right, <laughs> I I can personally attest to. <laughs> it is something that. Is against. All right, you got a bunch UCMJ's, of twenty. You got a bunch of twenty-something year old. They just, they just hit deployment. They're really fucking pissed off. They don't have AC anymore, among other things. They need something to take it out on. Now, the thing I, if an officer happens to not be around to monitor said situations, 
shit happens. Well, I remember when he said the. I mean, I this don't know, is even with Officer President, it, certain things. Yeah, we're we not talking done. about that. I know this is the <laughs> ending part, but the part where he's uh, basically says, "I've been chewed out before." Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. he doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> nah, more he's like gonna do what out. he wants to do. I can beat you out. I've done that before. Yeah. <laughs> right, and that happens a bunch. Yeah, yeah that <laughs> is real world right there. <laughs> You'll be shot for this. Nah, I'll just be chewed I'm out. I'm worth chew out. <laughs> My bad, chewing out. I can be able to chew out. But, I love uh, that fucking mm-hmm. attitude. <laughs> hey, he's got the best attitude for this fucking role. That oh, works yeah. out. It, but that's it works what out really we well. needed. That's what we absolutely needed. Yeah. Well, he never changed his character. He's true to himself the entire movie. Uh-huh. Yep. The entire movie is like a big poker game. Yep. It's a comedy of manners. Like, who can hold their bluff long enough to survive? Yep. Yeah, that show that at the very end that shows yes. very very well. Um, then you jump to the to the next scene in fuck uh, somewhere in the woods, <clears throat> and oh the bear Jew, yeah. Oh the but, interrogation. But, but you see Tarantino getting scalped in there. Oh yeah yeah did yeah, make, yeah. Did, yeah. Did he do a Hitchcock in it? Why he, did I miss he did, that? He's done two in this movie. So, so this one here, the fair when you when they pan out to the next scene, uh huh, right. Um, Tarantino is the first person laying down getting scalped. Why didn't I? Why did I miss that? Shit, yeah. I have to watch the movie. So, I didn't yeah. even notice that. When we first see the bear Jew coming out of that uh, tunnel, do you know the story behind his bat? Yeah. So, well, first off, Eli Roth put on like thirty. Yeah. Was that a was that a spicy one? Yeah. I think we got through them all. <laughs> yeah. There shouldn't be any left. I was say, what happened, <laughs> motherfucker? <laughs> Do you God have that clip by it. chance? I hope your nipples didn't work. Do you have, do you have that clip? What the, kind of, what the hell kind of shit? <laughs> exactly. Like some deep hate right there. <laughs> I remember that fucking episode we were talking about inverted nipples. Remember that shit? Okay. That's what that call back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we um, had, we, there was a lot of porno talk in that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so Eli Roth actually put on like fucking 35, 40 pounds just for this fucking role yeah. alone. Um. Oh, he's worked with Tarantino a couple movies. I still don't think yeah. he was big enough. I, I really like Compa- the character compared of to what he was before. Nah. Yeah, I know. I, I absolutely yeah. understand. But when I when I hear something, you know, Bear Jew, I am imagining this towering hairy motherfucker yeah. getting ready to come and crush some fucking skulls. Well, he was All right? he was hairy in that role, but it, I can understand. He wasn't what you're that hairy. You were, you were thinking about like more of like a big bulky guy. Yeah, yeah. I, he wasn't that hairy. He wasn't that towering. At all. I mean, his arms, I'll give him credit. His arms were fucking good fucking size. Yeah. All right. Well, he's about what I'd expect from a U.S. infantryman. Mm. Yeah. But when I hear them referring to him as a golem and shit like that, I am picturing this I don't know. It's towering, about size. hulking beast. It's about a reputation. golem is a towering, hulking beast. I know beast. what the fuck a golem is. I said it's not about size. It's about reputation. But to be given that give reference give me, give and that me. name, it, it to me... Envision a saying. certain larger than life yeah. person, yeah. and I don't feel Eli hit the the physical parameters. He definitely hit the mentality, yeah, hundred percent out of the point. I loved the way he played him. I just, I, I wish he was a little bit bigger. bigger. Yeah. I really, do. I can see what you're saying by that. It would have fit the uh, the stigma of, yes. of his name. Then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the the great thing about that scene is that uh, when they were trying to get that first uh, imagine, officer, imagine Andre the Giant or Big Show type Eddie motherfucker, Hall. Eddie Hall type motherfucker. <laughs> that would have worked. Eddie, Eddie still feels small. Yeah. Um, uh, what's the other? What's the um, the, the American Half guy? Your Brian jump. Shaw. Oh. No. Brian Shaw. Brian Shaw. Yeah. yeah, yeah if Brian, Brian Shaw. Shaw was coming out of that <laughs> fucking tunnel. All right, you're shitting your goddamn oh, yeah. pants. Sorry, I just I, right. I see him holding like a, a Louisville Slugger and it's like a toothpick. It's like a toothpick and right. looking. Like one of those souvenir billy clubs yeah, that you get exactly. from the fucking- <laughs> exactly. that. Uh, I think something like that would be would would have fit better and then fit yeah. with the story of you know the golem and stuff like that. Uh, it, it would have fit the fear, yeah, you know that that they were instilling. Yeah. So. Did you imagine the- like you sure you want Bajor country? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You see, you see fucking him coming uh, like, He would like oh, to die okay. for a country. Okay. Oh, dodge that- him. Now, when that scene when he's coming to you, when uh, when they're about when they're talking to that first officer and he wasn't going to. Uh, Say anything. He was like, I, I'm proud to be a fucking Nazi okay. and everything else. Hey, Brad Pitt was like, fucked. That's all I can say. Yeah. Uh, his character's basically, you know what? We're, we're, we're kind of happy that you said that because hey, God, this I'm is the most entertainment that. that we get out here yep. watching the that, bear you that, do that's his more shit. To sell the, the fear to the 
the the Other people two? that you yeah. know you're going that to was yeah. the information from. That yeah. is a, a yeah. classic. Um, that is a very very useful strategy, oftentimes used. You keep two lower ranking individuals that don't have the loyalty built up over years of service. Yeah, you take their higher higher ranking officer and you uh, make a demonstration of said individual. At which point you have significantly more pliable individuals mm-hmm. waiting to eagerly give you whatever kind of information they have. Yeah, because the back about that is. A lot of times, it is the higher rank that has more and more uh, correct, you know, more f- finesse and yeah. with, the, with, with their intel. Yes. Um. So it's it's a catch point. It's, would you it's, what, it's would a trade off. Would y'all look at that head bashing scene though? What do you think? Uh, how it how oh, that flowed? They did not really, really the well. fucking rock, baby. Yeah. yeah. So like his Boston accent. Yeah. <laughs> So his bat itself. I was you, about to say we yeah. just got, I feel yeah, we, we started we, on that we, one. We skipped over that real quick. Um, so his bat. Um, the story behind it, the bat itself, was before he left, he took that bat and... Um, Went back to the boroughs. Yep. And had all um, all the Jews in his neighborhood sign it. On the bat, there's one name, very, very famous. Don't say a word. Can you guess? Charlie Chaplin? Albert Einstein? Yeah, that Babe be. Ruth? And Frank. Oh, wow. There you go. Yeah. Oh, and Frank was on that bet signed. That is awesome. Yep. So he used that Wait, as his uh, picture of the time frame. Would that have worked if he took it back, you know, to his Brooklyn borough and shit like that? Would was, so was Anne would have been? I don't think Anne would have been there. No, and she wouldn't have been famous anyway. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no. Well, she she got famous mm-hmm. from a diary. I mean, that, because they found her diary. That's all. It was. Correct. You know. You know. She died. It was like a week, maybe two weeks before her camp was freed. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. Fuck, dude. Yep. <sighs> Hard times. Yeah. yeah. Um, kind of shitty. Mm-hmm. The only one person in that family lived. It was her father. Jesus. Her father. Faja. Feta. Like Faja. That was a big thing in school. Mine Faja. Mine Faja. <laughs> <laughs> No, but definitely uh, smoking a pancake. <laughs> no, I didn't realize that. That was pretty cool that they signed by all the uh, Jews. But I, I love how he just says, "You get that for killing Jews," and he says, "I wear that thing with I wear it with pride." Mm-hmm. Yep, and phew, it was already there. It was it was great. Fucking, you gonna, you gonna take off that uniform? That's what I was afraid of. And that, that fucking other officer right there, he's just like, he automatically just pointed right to the map as soon as he saw that happen because he was like, he did not yep. want that shit nope, to happen. Right <laughs> well, as Colonel Edna says, you know. Rumors are the best thing to hear because they they're true or false, but they're entertaining to hear. And facts are always misleading. Yeah, mm-hmm. yep, <laughs> yep. We see. Uh, you guys know um, uh, Till Till Schweiger? Schweiger? No, I think that's his name. Till Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Yeah, Till Schweiger. But he plays uh, Hugo Stilts. Oh yes, oh, okay. yes, he's a great actor. Hugo, I have Hugo, the Hugo yes. what? Hugo Stilts. Schlitz. Hugo, Schlitz. Hugo what? That was Schlitz. Stiglitz. Quit, quit, quit. There we go. Ah. No, no, it was three. Oh. He already got three. No, two. No, it was three. It was uh, three. Oh, was it? Okay, yeah. well, give me the will. Can't fucking. Yeah, Ron. I'll I wouldn't say. Three. Well, I didn't get it this time. I wouldn't. It's always okay. Uh, no, so here's the deal. He plus, could have cheated. Plus, I wasn't looking at the fucking name. That no, was. It, sure. it, you were. You literally were. It's right here. No, I wasn't looking at his shirt. <laughs> I just noticed that. Boom. That's fucking awesome. Hey. Bring the Slayers back. It applies to everyone. <laughs> I know, but something like that is such a oh, uncommon put name. Put respect on that picks. name. <laughs> for me. For Ragnar. <laughs> I vote for nice. I vote for nice. All right. <laughs> Just to piss off Ron. <laughs> Nobody votes. <laughs> what you normally fuck nice up are like time. famous, well-known names. Stiglitz is not a famous, well-known name. But still, come on. Right. What do you it's mean it's not a famous name? No, it's a no. punishment shot. What do you mean it's not a famous punishment. name? It's literally on shirts. I can put anything on a fucking shirt, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways. Are you talking um, shit because we're on shirts? That sounds... Exactly. That, oh. he's exactly. Hate, he's hating on the podcast. <laughs> That's bullshit. I'm just saying... <laughs> 
We are not fucking famous in any fucking way, but no. we are on shirts. Dear, not- <laughs> right. dear avid listeners and somewhat fans, we would appreciate if you if you change that for us and share us with your friends. If you're an avid listener, <laughs> I hope you're a fucking fan, unless you are some masochistic fucking asshole. <laughs> All right. I fucking hate these guys. I need to keep listening to them. <laughs> Fuck them. Oh, this is so Just horrible. Just so I can build my hatred up for them. <laughs> I fucking hate them. They got good points, but I fucking hate them. <laughs> So um, I went through an entire handful. Not one bad. No, I had one. Not just one, one bad. But, but I am we're slowly getting, getting through one it. at a time. Yeah, no. <laughs> and I make sure I have my. Empty. I got the same one again. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Fuck you. All right. Was it a watermelon? No, it's the green. Um, the jalapeno. Yeah, the yeah. jalapeno. I hope you stub your pinky toe, bitch. <laughs> Ow. It's not that bad. So just, my oldest stubbed his pinky toe today. Ooh. Ouch! Rip this fucking tail off. Ooh. Hey, I mean, if you're gonna do it, go big, right? Yeah. Fuck. He did it right. <laughs> Goddamn! <laughs> He'll never he forget did. that. No pussy putting around mm-hmm. there. No. Nope. All right, well, Crystal. Because what? What is uh, what is uh, Ragnar drinking today? White rum, peach schnapps, and black raspberry liqueur. Sweet. Have fun. That actually sounds good. All right. I keep forgetting there's there's a vomit flavor. Chris just wants you to give me a nice one somewhere. Yeah, but I'd still rather hit that <laughs> than the fuck <laughs> like shit. Um, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. He when they were doing a round table, he told Pitt and Tarantino that um, he's not gonna fucking wear the Nazi uniform. Because he's from Germany. Oh, this is his first time wearing it. Yeah. Oh. Habanero. Oh. So he's from Germany. Oh, that had so, been. Oh. So he is German. And he told him that he's not going to, he refuses to fucking wear it. He'll refuse to be in this movie if he has to wear it. The only, the only way they got the hook on him is that they told him that, don't worry, though. Every time you're wearing the uniform, you'll be brutally killing Nazis. Fuck yeah, I'm down. And he was like, yep. bet. Yep, I'm in. I'm good. So every scene, he lit- he's brutally killing people. Yeah. Nazis that and that shit. one seemed a little, a little harder sh- than the usual. Spicy. <laughs> oh, he, my God. He was the best character. But they're all gone. Right. Don't worry. They're all gone. He was the best character because I, I love, if actually, you know the narration when it's talking about him. You think that was Samuel L. Jackson, wasn't it? Oh, Crystal. Yes. Samuel Tasty. Jackson, yes, correct. Good job. Yeah. I, I love how yeah, Samuel Jackson, Jackson always has narration. some. Yeah, I always like how he's somewhere in a Tarantino, just like he was like the piano player in Kill Bill in the uh, Kill Bill Volume Two in the uh, beginning scene, the church Crystal. scene. Yes. Yeah, can you make me something yummy? But no, the, thank I mean, you. He's the second best. I mean, Christoph Waltz <laughs> ma- makes the fucking movie. He does. He really fucking does. His his charisma, his attitude, the tone of him. You know, just like you said earlier, Chase. He's very. Um, uh, Polite and professional. Yeah, professional. You know, he, he'll sit down at the table with you, and he'll get out his notepad and everything, take out all his paperwork, and let you think everything is going perfectly fine. Oh my god! You know, my <laughs> <laughs> what? What do you do? I was gonna put some hair in your balls. He got it spicy. But they grew a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> um. You know, he's, he'll fucking sit down, have a very polite conversation with you. Ask you permission. Can I drink this? Yeah. Can I, drink, can I smoke this pipe? Yep. But can I change the language? Yep. And then how many people are here? Yep. This, the, the character change, like, boom. It's like that. What the fuck was up with that pipe? <laughs> it was, uh, <laughs> you, you, you know, the, the, the whole scene right there the has been used yeah, in many movies yeah. is I got it. Basically, you got a small dick. I got a big dick type of thing. Basically, that's what it was. That was make, you know, showing how much more important he was because the farmer had the very simple, uh-huh. you know, homemade fucking pipe. And then Christoph pulls out. This fucking gargantuan <laughs> beast. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck you, bitch. Uh, <laughs> he fucking pulls the thing out of his fucking pocket. Out of yeah. nowhere. You just see this thing like, it's like Jack Nicholson's gun in Batman. Just keep going. Oh, the big long one? Pocket, yeah. You know? <laughs> like, how the fuck does that thing even fit in there? By the way, I want to point out he that the man nice who did not handle any spicy shit at all, I handled each one of these fucking spicy jelly beans much fucking better than Chase. Yeah, you have. Man. Which I'm, I'm much man. fucking better. No, Chase is being a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Get him. But back to uh, our our boy Hugo Stieglitz. I mean, just he. The introduction was fucking brutal, and then his ending. The way he went out was fucking brutal. Oh yeah. Because I'm not sure we're gonna bring the tavern yet. But as we get to the 
Oh, no, that's no, that fucking scene, basement. Yeah. That scene there. That's was my favorite scene awesome. in the whole fucking movie. Yeah. That's my favorite. Like, if we ever talk about our favorite, that that's it right there. That that scene, the tension in that fucking basement, and just the whole fucking. You, and you could tell that he was just like getting pissed off at the uh, the German soldier sitting next to him. He was mm-hmm. like, "Oh yeah, oh." They God. walked down there. They knew it was they were fucked. Yeah. And he takes the gun and points it right at his fucking crow. Oh, my God. <laughs> fucking love him in this movie. Yeah. I I did like the fucking uh, Gestapo motherfucker. I no, did he did like a him. good job. Yeah. He did wonderful. Him. He, was yep. a, he was an asshole, too. That's what, Because he was also uh, he was also with them when they uh, pulled the, the chick over at the theater, I believe. Yeah. And he yes. says, get your ass down here. Mm-hmm. Get your ass in the car. Oh, yeah, something like that. Uh-oh, what would you make? Mm. Okay, so. What something yummy. With peanut butter? Just drink No, it. not you. Oh, okay. Nice. Ooh, it's got cinnamon in it. That's good. What is that? Yours is half and half of your brown sugar, whatever the heck that is, and Celtic honey. Yours is three parts Celtic honey with the peanut butter and a splash of the raspberry to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. There was no cinnamon in this? Nice. That was very nice. That's weird because it almost tastes like cinnamon for some reason. It was good. I liked it. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich, huh? Good job. I wanted to make it so I'm like, yeah, you can I liked it. (laughs) Crystal, thank you. (laughs) We love you, Crystal. Holy fuck. Sorry, that habanero fucking jelly bean. Like, I'm a spice enjoying that person. The, that might be the one that Ragnar got that was that, making him sweat. I remember that one that you had. That one fucked was, my that ass up. Okay. That one there stuck in the side of my tongue. I am still drooling. Like, I'm basically going numb right now. It hurts so fucking bad. <laughs> want a gummy bear? No, not one of them. Don't drink water. Fuck I drink this. um. Like milk, lemon, milk. Wine, lemon wedge, a lime wedge, or like milk or something like that. Yeah, there's milk in the honey. fridge. Okay. Honey is the best thing to do. No, but that that tavern scene, like you said, the Gestapo. Have, honey. He yeah. he did do he did a great wonderful. job, and I I've seen him in another movie where he actually plays a German. Yeah. Uh, it's a Terrence Malick film. Yeah. Uh, I forgot what the name of it was, but uh, more of a dramatic yeah. role. But him in this, he actually did a very very good job. And I do love how simple. Do you love? Oh. Yes, I do love. Um, how simple of a giveaway, that. you know, they did. And it, it, it's absolutely true. What? 100%. Yeah. The, the, you know, the, the three, three with the fingers? Yeah. Yes. That's 100% that's like, uh, true. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf. Yes. And kind of eins, zwei, drei, no. And, I mean, it Shut would up. look so foreign. Things like that. And I, I that, that's something I did catch up on well, the very first time we yeah. watched it together. Mm-hmm. Uh, when, as soon as I saw, you know, um, blanking on the English um but but his character's name he's you know, um, he was great yeah but as soon as i saw him go like this i'm like yeah fuck <laughs> that doesn't that's fit that's not right he was and then i see the talk. the gestapo is looking at his face i'm like yep he's dead now yep yep yep, yep. here's where the shit but, so, I, but he takes it with pride because i remember he pulls right, the cigarette so. out and he was like mm-hmm. my dear boy or something like that i forgot the uh the words and everything yep. but and he, then they then he put the gun to his crotch, and then everybody's got gun. But then everybody, and then best part, stabbing in the fucking crotch constantly. So well, yeah, he knows if if since my my cover's blown, can, I, can we speak in kings? Yeah, no, the, I'm, fucking, gonna go, the I'm kings. going to I'm yeah. going to go speaking the kings. Yes, yeah. 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 the kings English. Um, <clears throat> no, just leave that the kings. Yeah, which, which, which is English. meaning the kings yeah. English. Is yeah, thank you. <laughs> no, I, I, I just. It is such a wonderfully written film. There's it certain is. lines that I want to make sure are no, um, quoted correctly. That I'm horrible at remembering lines the right yes. way, so I never say them the right way. But the way that he went out what was really cool. I really enjoyed was actually um, Wilhelm's. Wilhelm, the, uh, yeah, Wilhelm. Yeah, yeah, the guy who uh, who they're celebrating their the brother. Oh, the, son, the young kid. Yeah, your the, your accent is very yeah. unusual. Because it was that and he starts speaking to him, and you can see the fucking the, the really hammered turning. gears yep. start yeah. going. The, the like the confusion, wait a it was the confusion that he had, and everything else, and plus the goal. Well, the Gustavo was in the, the back, like yeah. yeah, I think he was sipping on like a bourbon or a, or a, a scotch or something like that in the background, and then he tries to get himself. Did you think that he already knew already from the start before he got into the game? He knew something was fucking weird, but he wasn't sure. And then he was buying the story to a point. Uh, he's like, okay, maybe I'm just. Yeah, you know, a little fucking crazy, whatever. A little paranoid. And then the second Englishman throws up the fucking three. three. Yeah. He's like, nope, I'm right the entire fucking time. Fuck this guy. This whole thing is fucking shady. Fuck this slut. Uh, uh-uh. They're mm-hmm. all going to fucking die. Yeah. Yeah. Diane Kruger. So she had, or he. The untalked about daughter of Freddie. 
Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> you never, never would have went over my head. Miss Krueger and God damn it. Freddy Krueger. <sighs> Jesus Christ. All right, shut up. No, I, we were talking I, about Freddy Krueger, not Jesus. Freddy Krueger. I know what you're talking about. Calm shut down. Up. I, I missed it. I mean, they both came back. Touche. <laughs> shut up the cat in the hat. There's a book about him coming yes, back. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we were actually doing two movies with her. I'm pretty sure, you know, um, also... Uh, and he rose on the Thursday and, and, you know, because I'm of the sure East. Come on that back. Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Well, she was supposed to be like a, a actress, like a top actress or something like that. Yeah. She yeah. Was, yeah. Yes. She was. And that's top when it was the actress. Yeah. Because the whole Maximilian type. I wonder if it's the, a hard role to play as an actor. An actor playing an actor? Yeah. <laughs> How, what about a, a dude playing a dude playing another dude? I'm a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude. Tropic Thunder. That's such a great film. Yes, it is. Such <laughs> a great fucking film. You, you still, you still can put that. It's, it's on the list for you. I know. Yeah, I, I saved her. I was gonna do it, but I'm gonna give it to you to do it because I think you'll do a better job uh, hosting that one. Yeah, I, my, I'm. I probably won't do that this year. No, that'll be one of your next years. Yeah, probably. it's not. It's fun, but I don't think it's stupid fun. So yeah. it doesn't quite fit the not this year's genre. Yeah. You don't think Tropic Thunder your, is stupid? Not stupid fun. Well, I'll put that no. on your list for next year. Because there's a lot of smart parts. Yes, there are stupid parts, but there's yeah. a lot of smart, smart comedy uh, written in there. So uh, that's one of Ben Stiller's best directed movies, next to the Cable Guy. Cable oh, Guy's God. classic. That <laughs> fucking Jelly Bean is just finally starting to wear off. That was like fucking 15 minutes ago. This is bullshit. You want another one? The man who literally has a, a physical, uncontrollable reaction to this shit is not as much of a bitch. Nope. Come on now. No, that one hit pretty good. So you know, I'm pretty sure these are Stiglitz, the same. Uh, knife, yeah, right. That you see him sharpening, oh, yeah. right in the beautiful room. Blade. Yeah, beautiful, right. That's an actual SS blade, SS officer blade. Yeah, that really he's sharpening. Yeah, so all SS officers have that blade and shit. Um, and the engraving on his, which is all the same for all of them. I don't, I don't remember what it was. I think it's um, it's for, about the right. Or something. Uh, it's for loyalty and honor, I think. I think hmm. it says. Yeah, well, it was uh, the motto of the right. What other movies yeah. has he been in? Has there any other movies that you know him from? Yeah, he's been in. Um, he's been in. A, he does a lot of fucking German. Um, a lot of German movies. He's actually okay. a, a fucking um, a German director. Actually, um, what? Yeah, I had no idea. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Another one. I'm pretty sure most of us have seen. He's been in King Arthur. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Clive Owen, yeah, one? yeah. What role did he do in that? Did he, he do would, one of the knights? No. Oh no, he was uh, he was one of the ones they were fighting. Did anybody here see the Green Knight? He was in Driven. Yes. yes. Was it good? I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Dragon and what? That's all. Mm, what else? What else? What else? He's been in a bunch of other <clears> shit. You said a lot of German films, though. Yeah. So you, oh, right. he's been in Deuce Bigelow, European Gigolo. That's right, he was. So you know, I always said before how Tarantino had two cameos in here, right? Yeah. What was the second one? So the second one was um, in the theater when he's um, uh, when fucking uh, Hammersmith was she was getting strangled. Yeah. Right. What was her name? Huh? What was her name? And <laughs> Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, this ain't me this time, so I'm not. I'm, I'm keeping my mouth shut. Fuck off. We're playing poker here. Ron is elated right now. I, know. <laughs> hey, I never get. I never get a break. <laughs> Don't worry, you're lucky tonight. Oh yeah. Uh, no, those were uh, when you see her getting strangled. Um, Tarantino didn't trust him enough to actually do it actually correctly. Do, do it right. Yeah, because he was afraid he would either do it too hard or too soft. So either if you're doing it right, too hard is difficult. So he was afraid either it would be very unbelievable or too believable to the point where it kill her. Yeah. You so could... you see his hands um, on her neck strangling her. Hmm. So that, that is Tarantino's excuse for wanting to live out a fucking choke a bitch. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah. All that fucking was. You know, him and his, you know, freak flag flying. <laughs> All right. That's a hundred percent. Oh no, no, no. I don't. I don't think you'll do a good enough job, Christoph. Let me do it. <laughs> like that was a lot of of effort given by by Christoph's character to to do that. I I feel I don't know. It seems not quite accurate. For to do for what? 
a male, a military aged, military trained, and physically fit male against a female of about equal stature. Mm -hmm. There was just a lot of struggle there. That is that small hand. Yeah, small hands. Vienna saw <laughs> my <laughs> my fingers. They are they are sausages of Vienna. The uncle from Always Sunny. <laughs> um. Oh fuck, man. Uh, so you guys know who else was considered? For roles, I know you said fucking Stallone earlier. Stallone and Schwarzenegger. Yeah, yeah. they were trying. Like I said, yeah. they were trying to almost do like an Expendables type. Yeah, I didn't. I never. I couldn't find anything on that. Um. So Adam Sandler. <laughs> fuck. Excuse me. Adam what? Sandler. Adam yes. Sandler. Who was going to sit up for Donowitz? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That might have no, worked. No, I can though. see that. No, yeah, I, that might have worked. Sorry, I'm seeing that. like half of his lines Adam delivered Sandler, in his stupid little. He's, he's well, actually, here yeah. I am voice. No. He's actually no. got good range. <laughs> he's got really good fucking no, he, range. He absolutely for, does. He's a, he's incredible. But yeah. whenever when somebody says that, I just picture him doing his Adam Sandler shit. Yeah. One of his best roles is Punch <laughs> Drunk Love. If you ever seen that one, he does great in that movie. Oh no, Uncut Gems. Uncut Gems is a no, fucking good good movie. Stu, you've seen that, right? Oh, I love Uncut yeah. Gems. He's really playing good movie. a Jew. I, it wouldn't be uncut. I, I think Punch Drunk right. Love is, is, uh, <laughs> is, is a better oh, actor. Sorry, I'll go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We said earlier, uh, Leo was for um, considered for um, uh, Hans Lander, Landa. Um, and then Adam Sandler. Um, so you know who Simon Pegg is? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. that story hurts my heart. He was for uh, considered for uh, Lieutenant Hickok. Hickok. Really, Fastbender's character. Yeah, yeah. Fastbender. I think Fastbender better. Fast, yeah, he no, did. I agree. I, I do enjoy Simon Pegg. I really do. Um, but I, I enjoy Fastbender. Fastbender just about that. He did it a he lot. Does. He would have done it a lot better. Well, yeah, or he did it better. I yeah. think. Yeah, but Fastbender is good in just about anything he does. Well, I, Pe I, I think he's an amazing actor. Damn right. Uh, Pegg was considered. He he went for was it Tin Tan? Tin Tin for uh, with Tintin. Uh, Spielberg. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. animated movie. Yeah. Yeah. So he did that instead, and like. I heard like a story, but like sometimes in a hotel room, he's by himself. He just sits there and just thinks, "Why the fuck did I do that?" Yeah, I don't even. I've never seen that movie actually. Nor have I. Uh, there's one for uh, fucking. So they were gonna put what made him get Mike Miss Myers to do the role. That's what I was curious about. He was desperate to do it, be in a Tarantino movie. Yeah, That's he would. It? He would have done anything, any role. He cause I mean, it was only like five minutes, but it, it was still cool to see still him in there. Fucking he time wanted, to suck your dick. He <laughs> wanted to be in a Tarantino movie so bad. I don't think he was Bob Saget. Yeah. <laughs> the rest of R.E.P. Just saying. <laughs> um, I mean, you wouldn't associate Tarantino and Myers. You wouldn't associate them. No, you don't. Ever. No. Um, they had a few other. Oh, so uh, uh, Jean Renault. Hold on. What? Hold on. What? So that door was open. I saw the door was open after Chase just came in. Dog just came in and shut the door behind himself. That's Jones. He can do that. He's very polite. Like, he turned around. He's like, oh, no, this is still open. Let me just shut this. No, I, I don't want it to cause disturbance for the fucking podcast. That, that, was, <laughs> that was no, that so was not, random. Uh, no, that was not open because I specifically snuck past him and shut the door. No, I and, saw you. I saw you shutting the door behind you, but you didn't uh, you, like, close it all the way. I saw that. Son of a bitch. Yeah. And then he uh, pushed it open, and then he came in. He's like, oh, you were shutting the door. Let me complete this. Mm, there we go. Now come over and give me loaf. Smart ass dog. <laughs> right. I, I'm sorry, I had to give credit. Shit, fuck. Um, so, uh, Jean Reno was considered for Pierre Lapadite. Oh, the, guy, uh, the, the, the guy that worked with the, the uh, farmer. The, the farmer. The farmer. I really enjoyed the, the guy they had for the, the farmer. The dairy farmer, yes. Yeah. Yeah. What other movies has he been in? Because I've seen him in some. Yeah, I know I've seen him. Mm -hmm. I, I have no idea, but. I thought he that actor no, he did played a great a job. Yeah, he you did. can tell how scared he was, mm -hmm. and he pulled that off really, really well. No, he that did was it. absolutely a plus acting. So, you know, the movie had fuck roughly thirty percent of English. Yes, yeah, felt and right. It, the rest felt of it's right. all fucking foreign subtitles. Yeah. Well, it made it more realistic in a way. And believe it or not, this is the thing I have to say about Tarantino. No matter what movie he's done. A lot of movies, when it's full of dialogue, people are like, ah, get boring. But his dialogue always keeps you glued to your seat. Like, oh, wow, this is actually really good. Like, it's entertaining. Mm -hmm. Because he always pops, like, stories or explaining how something works or something like that and puts a lot of detail into it that it actually makes it entertaining. 
And just like the first sequence alone, uh, when mm-hmm. uh, uh, Christoph Waltz, uh, uh, what's what's the name of the character um, that he plays? Hans Lander. Yeah, w- w- going with the farmer and everything else. I mean, that scene felt like it was like 20 minutes long. Yeah. And it was like, man, this this is just going and going and going. It, it was well done. It was very entertaining. And you were like, what's going to happen? What's going to happen here and everything else? I, I, I'm always enthralled by anything that Tarantino writes. I love how he explains things in all of his movies. Well, I put him on the same level of writing skill, even though it's come from two different Aaron feelings. Sorkin? Yeah, exactly. That's what I figured. The, yep. Exactly. Um, That's who? Aaron Sorkin. Sorkin. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, uh, you know, just, everything is just so crisp and to the point, but Aaron Sorkin is, seems more intelligent background. Yes. Quentin Tarantino seems more real-world mm-hmm. background. And still both absorb you yeah. completely. Look smart versus street smart. Yeah. Right. You, 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 you know, know one's better. Do you know many other. Aaron Sorkin films? Nope. Okay, jo- uh, Steve Jobs, which is actually Michael Fassbender who plays Social Steve Network. Jobs. Uh, Social Network. Uh, also, um, shit. Um, uh, the Officer and a Gentleman. Yep. No, 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 no. Uh, a few, uh, a few good men. Sorry, a few good men. That's there what he go. did. Officer, sorry, I got a that few completely good mixed men up. And, uh, uh, the West Social Wing. Um, good series. That's a very good series. Molly's Game. Uh, Trial of Chicago Seven, another good one. Newsroom, yes, he did the newsroom series. Newsroom. Yeah, um, being the Ricardos. Oh God, I forgot he did that. That was a good one. I, 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 I didn't. I thought you I were going to mispronounce. I watched that. like ten minutes of that. It was. It was oh, no, no. I mean, if you were, it, I grew up as a big fan of. No, I love Ricardos. Aaron Sorkin. I love. His no, films. I grew up as a big fan of the Ricardos, and yeah. so to see that from Aaron Sorkin's talent level, be able to uh, you know bring that to life, I was a huge, huge fan. God, he did so many Moneyball. Oh wow! Yep. Oh yeah. With Brad yeah. I saw that. Yep. yep. I'm trying. Uh, that Charlie was good. That was really good. Charlie was Moneyball uh, with Tom Hanks and mm-hmm. uh, um uh fuck Philip Seymour Hoffman. Yes, very good movie. Uh, very good movie. Uh, His have a lot more of a political, intellectual type of. Uh, uh, I, I love Steve Jobs. I thought Steve Jobs was actually really good. I, I thought it was very highly entertaining because it went through three decades of Steve Jobs' life yeah. and basically on the whole when they were presenting the different Apple products and everything. And the drama with him and his wife. It, it's just a very well written movie. But Tarantino, I could see the whole comparison yeah. between that because it's dialogue that actually doesn't bore you. It actually, you know, you're actually enjoying it. Yeah. And Tarantino has a talent with that. And I fucking love that. And this movie has got the most of the point that this one's all subtitled mostly. Mm-hmm. So it's all subtitled compared to and the fact that he that he directed this with the you know, using the subtitles and yeah. the foreign language and everything else and did such a w- good, great job at it. He had to do with all the research and everything to do this. Well, I mean, yeah. I'm sure in the, in the fucking script, it was like, you know, in English and said, but in the uh, no, German language, no. he actually wrote it in German. He had a German writer do yeah. it. This, all, the, all the foreign okay. language in the film oh, it's, it's very is, is foreign. It's, it's all ra- the foreign language in, in the film was just made up. It's made in that up. language. Yeah. The other badass so. part. <laughs> yeah. The other badass part when like Christoph Waltz is talking in German, Tarantino has no idea what the fuck he's saying, but the energy and like the, he's telling him to say it this way, like he's all in. He knows what he's saying, but he doesn't know yeah. because it's German. But he's like, do 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 it this way, like blah blah blah. But uh, to go back to your point, but the writing part, uh, it builds suspense and tension because yes. it's like building a rubber band. You're pulling, yeah, and pulling. Mm-hmm. Like the audience gets more and more because they get more sucked in and more nervous like what's gonna happen something's gotta happen that's how i feel about the hateful late because yes. i think that's one of his best writing jobs right there uh and how he explains everything is actually even becomes a narrator on a certain scene about the whole poison scene and uh, the hateful late yeah but uh yeah no it's just it's fucking great to also go along with your point th- this movie is written like a book chapter one introduces yeah. landa chapter two aldo hey aldo reigns mm-hmm. and then chapter three you know, sophia or emmanuel um, and then chapter four and five is adventure. Let's all yep. cross over and let's fucking go. Everyone meets everyone. Damn right. Sort of. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I am. I, I was hoping that the bastards and Shosana, you know, that's what they were called. Yeah. Just the bastards. Yeah. Never inglorious. Um, I was really hoping. Well, glorious to, sounds better. I was really no, hoping but that to word see never them mentioned in the movie. actually cross paths at all and learn a little bit. Not really know what they're going for, but at least see each other in the theater. I think I, I would better. have liked that theatrically. No, I think it's really the- better. Um, you have two separate forces attempting the same goal unknowingly of mm-hmm. each other. Mm-hmm. I, I think that really worked it works well. out. I think yeah. it worked out a lot better than because 
So she was the original daughter that escaped, right? In yes. the very beginning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. So she escaped and made a whole fucking life for herself. In 1941. You know? Yeah. That takes place in 1941. Then when she's at the movie theater, that's 1944. Yeah, it's three years later. They cut the scene where they they explain what happened, how she got that movie theater. Mm-hmm. They cut it out. Yeah. Well, she said something about her getting her from her aunt, right? Yeah. Do you think that was a lie? No, it's truth. But they, okay. had, they, they had oh, all scenes played out for it. But they The original it movie was supposed to be like three and a half hours long. Mm-hmm. And I'm they, sure and they cut it down. Sit, I'd sit through that for this movie, yeah. honestly. If if it's all at the same kind of rank of as far as production value as what we saw. Yeah, but when you make it that long though, you're gonna lose I don't know, if I you're see, gonna lose. If stuff. I see the barrage you fucking murking people like that, I feel like I could Yes, then you stomach. you you wouldn't have been. It would have been a lot of other filler stuff yeah. that would have been in there. Like fucking, um, they had one character in there as um, the mom, and shit that they cut out that whole scene there. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Um, is there any deleted scenes on like YouTube or anything like that? Or oh, that is maybe that is one thing I wanted to talk about too. Like the uh, Gerbils, the the choice for casting Gerbils was fucking spot on. I mean, visually, nah, but the portrayal of Gerbils and how fucking whacked out he was yeah. mm. perfect yeah they did a really good job with that that was a spicy bean oh <laughs> got one looks like everybody spicy. got one but yeah the, the entire yeah. cast of ensemble it's just fucking amazing from top to bottom yeah no i thought the like i said the the complete cast of this movie also i was talking to ragnar about the freaks and geeks guy you know oh, what i'm yeah. talking about In, uh the the short and short guy yeah oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. BJ yeah. Novak, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was actually really shocked that he was in this with uh, being one of the bastards and everything. I thought that was really, really More cool. More famous from The Office, though. Yeah. As one of the main writers of The Office. Yes, because all the bastards. He's a writer? Yes, all the bastards. Yes. All the bastards are screenwriters. Do you know that? Well, I knew Eli Roth was, but, but he's a all, movie director. All, all the bastards. He also that, directed you, this movie as well. Eli Roth? Mm-hmm. He probably directed a scene. Oh no! He directed up uh, no, the Nation of Pride. No, the Pride Pri- Nation. There, no, Pride Pride of the Nation. Pride. Yes. Nation actually, Pride. you could watch that full the full Nations. Uh, it's actually a feature on the uh, uh, DVD, the, the DVD and Blu-ray, yeah, where you yeah. can actually watch the complete little movie. I think it's like 10, 15 minutes long. Yeah, he directed just like that. in um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, oh, you haven't you saw that one, right? No. Oh, it was you that I didn't see that. I didn't know if it was you or Snow. But you know the scene where they're talking about uh, Leonardo yes. DiCaprio was starring in that Western mm-hmm. show? He actually filmed a whole complete episode. I can believe that. And he wanted. He actually wrote a screenplay for a whole season. Man, rest in peace, Rick Dalton. Yeah. Died a few months ago. Yep. <laughs> yep. Stupid thing on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> what? You don't fuck. You, you got to see that movie. He, he's Someone never- tweeted out that he died. Like the, the, the account from the, uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And he sur- he died this day, and like he was 100 years old. He survived by his wife, and I'm like, motherfuckers. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. So in the theater, you see uh, Donnie Bubble and, flavor. and the other guy have the gloves, right? Mm-hmm. The the gun glove. It's an actual thing. Oh yeah, those it are is. super fucking cool. Yeah, it's it's a, get, it's a punch 45. Yeah, yeah. It's one shot. And that's it. <laughs> that was a. Uh, you got 30 feet. Can you do it? <laughs> well, I got it. And you fucking better because it's, uh, it's a gun meant for just one shot. That's it. It's an assassination so it's, gun. It's kind of like the Liberator. Um, the that they, it's a little forty-five cal one shot. Um, that it made a stamped fucking metal, uh, stamped steel that they like airdropped it throughout the France for the uh, revolution. Mm-hmm. Uh, for the, not for the revolution, resistance. the resistance. Yep. My bad. Different R. Revolution. <laughs> Viva la revolution. Um. <laughs> The uh, but yeah, it's it's ba- it's a stamp steel fucking forty five cal single shot. Is it thirty eight? It's a thirty eight. Okay, my bad. Thirty eight cal single shot. What the trigger is actually a, a, it's a little pressure. It's a plate pressure plate. plate. Yeah. So you you punch your target. Yeah. It, Interesting. That's why when it's, you see, it's a fucking Goku punch. Yeah. That's why when you see him coming around the fucking corner, One man punch mm-hmm. right. And when he gets close, right, he only gets him in the uh, the side, right. But when you see him, you hit when he hits him. That's what you just see it fucking yep. um, come out from the back, from back to front. Yeah, the, oh, shit, I didn't the, know that. the first one when he punches him in the forehead. Yeah, you, yeah. you see it the best. Yeah, like, so they fuck. That's the, a hard. They punch. thought ahead of time enough to smuggle those in. 
why didn't they just bring in guns with them? <laughs> I mean, so that might have actually been from the French supply. The French resistance did have guns as well as those. Um, so if they had the contact with the French resistance to ha- have a drop off. Fair fucking point. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Drop me off a one-shot fucking weapon yeah. or drop me off a multi-shot weapon? Drop me off that multi-shot weapon. That's all they needed. <laughs> we actually didn't talk about one uh, shot. We're one too deal. badass for multiple rounds. Fuck that, no. <laughs> <laughs> what did he do to Hitler? Multiple fucking rounds. What did you actually think of Hitler? The uh, the actor that did uh, Hitler for the uh, part that he did, especially when he's getting his painting done and he's like, mm-hmm. nine, 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 and everything else. What did y'all think of him? Do Weird think- that he wanted to call the emergency number for, uh, you know, England. <laughs> I'm fucking done with you, Jesus. <laughs> Come on, man. No, he did a very good he did a yeah, really good job he with did. it, I think. Showed a lot of uh showed a lot of uh uh enthusiastic uh excitement mm-hmm. and uh our, you know the, the um how pissed off he was, especially when uh the guy took his uh, hat off and mm-hmm. you see the fucking scar on his head because that's the only way that the only survivors because the Brad Pitt character says I always leave one survivor and you are marked for to the day you die with a swastika as a nazi because you know you may wear those clothes and burn them and i remember you asked that question you know it says are you you're, you're gonna throw away those clothes i said uh yes no you're gonna have that fucking swastika on your fucking head you're gonna be known as a nazi till the day you fucking die yep, yep. yeah fucking love that we don't much appreciate that <laughs> Well, uh, one of my favorite lines from hitler is like who or what's a private butts yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. That was funny. Oh, oh yes. Two I handfuls. Forgot. I forgot. No spicy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This whole episode is about jelly beans and inglorious bastards. Jelly what the beans. fuck? <laughs> I mean, the glorious bastards is the film. <laughs> I mean, and and some beans. of these be- jelly beans are bastards, so. That's very fucking true. The, <laughs> doesn't Kino mean like cinema when they do Operation Kino? Yeah. Yeah. Kino. Oh, okay. I, I did not know that. <laughs> yeah, it, it's Deutsch. Uh, it's uh, German for uh, theater or, yeah. or cinema. That was an actual mission. Yeah. You were going to say something? That you Words, said that you forgot? Yeah. No. I, 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 I don't I think he think forgot. So. Yeah, you said, oh, I forgot. I was about to say something, but then somebody, we all interrupted. So And then he forgot again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Because we're yeah, horrible I, fucking co hosts, and I apologize. You should be. Chase, shut the fuck up. You always fucking fuck talking you. too much. <laughs> so bitter. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was pressing record when you did that. You didn't hit record, you asshole. No, I, I would, he did it before I pressed Damn it. Damn it. And that's why fun rhymes with Regina. Gun? The capital of Saskatchewan. <laughs> why are you trying to shove something in my nose? That was weird, dude. That <laughs> was put this very, very weird. You gave me a watermelon, so here, I'll give you one. Try it out. That was not a watermelon, sir. That's no, a jalapeno. No, it's not. Go ahead and try it. Yeah, you sound very believable right now. Put it in your mouth. See, I'm smart enough to look and decide whether I want to even try this. And that's going to be a no for me, dog. Oh, come on. You can do it. Because otherwise, be apple. I would it might see be candy apple. Jelly Belly. There's no Jelly Belly on here. And this episode is brought to you by Jelly Belly. I fucking wish. <laughs> Right? Can we get a fucking sponsor for Jelly Belly? Holy that shit. would be a great snack. That That'd would be, be great. Baller. Snack sponsor. Hmm. I mean, it already is a great snack. I don't know, but it would be a great snack sponsor. That's all I'm saying. It would really help with Ron diabetes. Di- diabetes? Hey, my, my numbers went down, so it's good. Okay, good. Can we get Jelly Belly sponsoring us? My <laughs> A1C is only 64 now. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> 69. Noise. Oh. <laughs> sorry, the I apologize. Scene. Only the people that know what that is we even get that. When um, Brad Pitt is introduced, his character is introduced in the movie at the theater portion of it. Yes. Yeah, uh, Enzo Gorlami. Yes. Gorlami. 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 All right. That was the, uh, the real name of uh, the... Person that directed the first in Glorious Bastards. Oh, nice. No shit. Wow. Well, that's a good callback oh, right yeah, there. I did not know that. That's, neat. that's good trivia right the there. The homages no and like all the history and like just from like from legit history and like Western movies, mm-hmm. all the homages in this movie will blow your mind. Yeah. There's a bunch. Like because of a lot of a lot of it is That's normal for Tarantino though. Well the funny thing is, is he that does callbacks all the time. 
if you look at the ratings for this movie, right? The, the ratings on it are really good. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't think he's ever had a rotten score. Rev- one of the reviews, was, which is so stupid, is this movie is historically inaccurate. Well, yeah. Is I, one of the fucking reviews for this damn movie. For I saw what that's the next movie. review, though. It is. It is. But it's funny because it, the title of it, of the review says, um, historically dot, 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 inaccurate, all caps. I'm like, no shit. Really? Like, I mean, do you really need to fucking put that out there? Once for, upon a time in Hollywood, you know, the same way. For yeah. the record, the jalapeno uh, jelly, be- uh, jelly, uh, jelly bean, delicious. It's not bad. It's not as spicy. It's not as spicy. No. It's not like, ah, but it actually has jalapeno flavor. God damn, you keep going back to jelly bellies. We were talking about fucking uh, gorlami. Gorlami. Salami? Gorlami. All right. Who's that guy, by the way? Gorlami. You said that he, no, You said all of them are screenwriters, right? All the all the bastards. Minus uh, Brad Pitt. Well, I, yeah, I know Brad, not has Brad he, Pitt, but. Has um, he done anything like that, though? I don't know. Because one of those guys, it was in uh, Death so. Proof, I, is the one that I wanted to say, like I want to make has out. He's done, sc- done screenwriting on some project before. I think so. I thought he, was it Burn After Reading that he co wrote or like co directed or something like that? He had like a. No, that's a Coen Brothers movie. Coen Brothers that's, don't. Okay, that's what it Coen's was. They do don't not, share. They, they do their own shit. Was even, even, even the Big Lebowski, I remember watching the, a documentary, sorry, I'm going off subject, they no, talked about how a lot of people thought that that movie had a lot of ad-lib, and they said, no, that was actually the Coen Brothers script. That's how good <coughs> script writers they are. That's okay. an, actually another one right there would be almost good for uh, screenwriting on uh, dialogue is the Coen Brothers. Would you uh, agree with me, Stu? Yeah. Yeah, uh, slightly, but yeah. Right now I'm just looking up um, his credits, and uh, Brad Pitt's, just to see... Mm. I don't no, think only he's never wrote producer, anything. Only actor and producer is the only thing. No. He produces oh, okay. a lot of great movies. I mean, he produced a lot of movies. Oh, that with may have been what I was thinking. He produced. I, I, I swore he he fucking wrote or co-wrote something. No, Nothing no, no he, he produces. He produced The Departed uh, with Scorsese. I yeah. remember it said produced by Brad Pitt and stuff like that. He has his own production uh, um, uh, production uh, company. Uh, company. Yes, thank you. Well, if you're Pitiful smart, productions. then you would honestly. <laughs> Yeah, because your acting That's is going to stop it, at one but point. It should, yeah. it should be. Right. It should like, be. You have, if you have a fucking production company, then you're going to be able to carry on. Yeah, you know, yeah. Th- even well after acting, and you'll still be able to fucking bring it back. But I've noticed something about Brad Pitt is that he's actually very a fascination with doing World War II movies because he's done so far three that I can think of. He did Fury, he did this, and he also did another one where uh, uh, he's a spot. He, it's a Robert Zemeckis film where uh, his oh uh, fucking no, uh, you, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it's new. Isn't there something about it's Band sort of, of Brothers yeah. being remade? It better not be what. Band of Brothers getting re- getting a redo? No, no, no. They're making a uh, thing about or the spin off of it. N- they're doing another spin off, but it's not Band of Brothers. It's going to be about the flying, uh, the uh, Battle of Britain type of thing. Okay, got uh, it. The, uh, That's Bullet what train. I was thinking of. Huh? Bullet Train. That was badass. Bullet Train was great. Yeah. That's, Is that the movie you were thinking of? That he didn't. No, no. It's uh, uh oh, shit. Uh, keep talking. I'll, I'll work it up. But, no, no. He was talking about when he was he was a spy. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, well, World War Two movie. Yeah. Fucking World War Two movie though. Um, I was thinking World War Z for some damn reason. That's not World War II. I know, but that's a fun movie. Historically <laughs> inaccurate. <laughs> you don't know that, but that's what pissed me off, man. I, you don't look know. Looking more into this movie, it could be in all caps. Like seeing the the critics, the critics hated this movie. I and don't know like, why. I don't know why either. But like the uh, Tarantino and Brad Pitt were talking about there during the German premiere. Allied. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a sport. Yeah, that's World War Two. That's Allied. It's actually a decent movie. But yeah, uh, during the German premiere, uh, Tarantino and Brad Pitt were talking about how you know, the cast was there, and uh, most times when Germans watch a World War Two movie, they they watch the movie through you know, eyes of guilt. You know, they they fucking filled guilt. And this movie, it like brought out the legitimate, like the, it made them all happy. They were the fucking levity. happy. The levity. Thank you. They were all happy. They were fucking cheering. They were laughing. Mm-hmm. It, like. The, they would never forget that experience. Yeah, the German premiere. I, I have something that I want to point out that we didn't talk about is the uh, the actor that played um, the one that had the whole crush on uh, what's her name. Uh, he's actually a Daniel very Bruh. very good actor. I mean, he's actually in this um, Daniel uh, the Marvel Bruh. movies. Yes, he was actually good in a movie uh, with um, about uh, uh, racing. Uh, Chris Hemsworth. It's a uh, yes. Homer one. Very very good movie. Rush or no? Rush. No. Yeah, it was Rush. Was it Rush? Yeah. Uh, but he's also played a villain in a lot of movies, mm-hmm. and actually, he's a very good actor. And I thought that he portrayed that you he know that obsessive. 
Baron yeah, Zemo. Yeah, yeah, in the MCU movies. Yeah. Baron Zemo. I thought that he yeah. did a great job, especially with the whole um, the thing being obsessed and, you know, uh, going into the fucking theater room when they're uh, ch- when she's changing the projection. Yeah. And finally, he feels like he's going to get laid, and they both shoot each other, uh-huh. and they both die. It, 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 I thought that was really well done in how that was made. I mean, yeah. just Because you, you never thought that she was going to die. I, I did not think that she was going to die in this movie. Seriously. That was her plan, wasn't it? No. No, it no. wasn't. So that whole scene I, there, the... Um, I mean, not, not her plan to get fucking shot. But no, no. no. It, okay, so... Uh, Harley, well, she felt sorry for him when she shot him. She was, like, going over to him, and then he just turns around and shoots her right yeah. back. I was watching uh, this film yeah. with Harley, and she said the same thing, uh, both her and her, her boyfriend. Oh, they're, they're working going to die. I'm like, actually, no. If you look... So they're securing the theater. There's a back entrance to behind the screen that he can easily get out. Okay, yeah. And the theater, you know, there's a, uh, a way for the projectionist to just come down the stairs and, you know, leave the thing without being locked in. They both have a, a route to get out safely. Yeah. But they are both willing to sacrifice if that's what mm-hmm. it took to accomplish. No, but the okay. bear Jew and the other dude, when they start shooting up the theater, when the place was on fire, though, they had like fucking bombs strapped to their barrel. fucking ankles. Yeah. Yeah. So they were, they were doing a suicide. But they could have easily, uh, 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 they could have been the way to smuggling or the easy way, uh, yes, potentially suicide vest I, situation. I figured it was almost like a suicide squad. But no, they, I they, think it was more, uh, I don't think it was. The plan yeah, was, yeah, was the just plant. smuggling. And it was the yeah. plant, the bombs. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. it's like almost everybody dies in this movie except uh, Brad Pitt and, I mean, only two bastards. I mean, Brad Pitt and that other dude mm-hmm. survived. Everybody else died. Yeah. Yeah. Tiny man. Yeah. Little man. Yeah. <laughs> Little man, yep. But with the big eyes. But back to the suits, though. Didn't know about the it. Italian thing. Like, I, you'll see in that part, I flashed to um, Wolverine and Hulk with their fucking suits on. Mm-hmm. I wish, you know, Brad Pitt had an eye patch on. Like, you, can, you don't recognize me. <laughs> 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 but what did you think of uh, uh, Christoph Waltz uh, killing Diane Kruger with the, uh, you know, Laughing hysterically when she was talking about how she was, uh, she broke her leg in the Alps or something yeah, like that. He knew that she was bullshitting. Mm-hmm. It, it was what? just a very, a, he did it, the, the thing is, he was going to give himself up because he was going to try and, you know, do this whole plan to yeah. get an island and everything else. But he was destined to kill that chick. Traitor. That's why. Mm-hmm. That's, still, he still had a job to do, regardless of what his ultimate end game was. Yeah. He still had a job to do. Yeah. You know, and. It was either hunting Jews or killing traitors. I, I see. I think he almost had a thing that, like, I think he want like he had a a fetish of wanting to kill. That's what it seemed like in that scene mm. because he choked her to death. He didn't shoot her with a gun. No, or like no, that. no, because he shot her with a gun. Um, then gunshots would have been heard. It would have raised suspicion. Yeah. Um, it would not have been the the tactically right choice. It still gave him an option at that point to continue on. With potential plans, mm-hmm. uh, okay. all right. It was a, yeah, the if, smart. If he'd have play. stabbed her, she could still be, you know, yelling. But if you, you know, cut off the yeah, that's why he immediately yeah. just dove right there yeah. to you know hurry up and boop silence her. So he was destined also, to kill her and then get out of the fucking and, and then give himself up so he can be uh, given an opportunity. He he yeah. he was playing both sides and or and he figured the way the war was already turning. Um, this was already after um the Americans hit the beaches. Uh, and everything like that. And he's like, all right, there's a good chance Hitler's fucking going down. Yep. I can ride the coattails of the, the winning side and set myself up for life. Uh, and if it doesn't play, pan out, then fuck it. I still, do, I'll just end up picking up the phone and saving Hitler, saving uh, everybody yep. and shit like that. And I'm still at least in a great position. Yeah. He had a plan yeah. for, yeah. A, he had a plan for a plan for a plan. Yeah. You know. But he, he really did find himself in, you know, the creme de la creme of positions. And he very well could have still, except for having the scar, been, um, you know, living the high life afterwards. Yeah. You don't yeah. know. Right? Because Pitt didn't kill him. He just gave him the scar. Yeah. Yep. So. I, oh, no, I guarantee he, they when they took him back, I don't think they, he, they met all of his demands, if any. He ain't getting a place in Nantucket. That's outside of, isn't that, that's not a territory. It's New York. Nantucket Nan- is uh, Nantucket fucking New York. Island. Oh, I a was, think, I was thinking, like, no, I was thinking, no, I was thinking, there's a province of Nantucket, Nantucket uh, in, like. New, either off the coast of New York or New Jersey, one of the, one of the two, I forget which one. It's New York. But yeah, yeah but do you feel yeah. like the general would actually let him have that? Do you think that was just a. Yes. 
Okay. No, I was we thinking captured, fucking Timbuktu the whole time. I don't know <laughs> how many um, Nazi uh, rocket scientists, uh, and we gave them jobs. That's yeah. about nice and gravy. Yeah, Project Paperclip. All right. And, yeah. you know, we took care of them because of information that they could provide. Right. And by him doing this stuff, by him allowing the operation to succeed as far as America was concerned, mm-hmm. not knowing that all his crimes were wiped the, clean, the no, French revolutionary, the- um, the, the do uh, Shoshana, you know, doing it. Yeah, absolutely. No, with we, all the crimes wiped clean we, and everything. That was regular. That was regular. Okay, see, I didn't us. know that. Okay. Yeah. All yeah. Right. All right. Like the, once again, brought the paper cut, the Nazi, uh, <laughs> Nazi rocket scientists, they were absolutely war criminals, a hundred percent, and we used forgave their brains. Them, but we're like, nope. You come over here, you work for us. You're Fucking golden. That kind of reminds me of the uh, Captain America of, Winter Soldier. Yeah, Einstein was part of Project Paperclip. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Um, I do have a random. Weird yeah, I'm, story. I'm, I'm. I'm waiting to hear this. One. Okay. Uh, just. Uh, speaking of Germany and Italian. <laughs> All right, so the fuck? yes, <laughs> the random uh, occurrence that just always puts a smile on my face when I watch this film because it it links to my mind. So brings you back. Um, yep. my parents, my mom, um, worked for a government yep. agency, and um, a couple years, Some bitch. she was stationed in Stuttgart, Germany. You get a spicy one, uh, and um, it was towards the end of her retirement. I'd already, you know, me and Harley gotten together. Um, and so we go over to Germany to visit my parents and spend a couple weeks over there. While we're over there, uh, we decide, all right, we're going to take a trip to the Black Forest. You know, it's an opportunity to, you know, see some stuff that I wouldn't normally have the opportunity to see. Um, was it my, black? Huh? Was it black? It was dark. No. <laughs> um, but. It, it is a very dark yes, forest. <laughs> yes. My dad and me, um, we spent the entire time just drinking basically from the time we woke up. Till the time we pass out, that was so being our German. Day. Yes, exactly. We're, we're embracing, yeah. <laughs> the, embracing the, the cultural. <laughs> um, so and, and pops is the, always the driver. My mom could get lost in a paper bag. Um, <laughs> <laughs> love her to death. Love her to death. And she also has zero common sense. Zero common sense. So uh, we're in the black forest. Um, me and pops are probably each at least eight to twelve. Okay. In the bag already by that point, by the time we get there, um, up on this hill, and the uh, this car in front of us pulls up past the stop sign and then reverses back right into us. All right, okay. you know, uh, because they they thought they had room, then they didn't realize they didn't have room, and then tried to fix the thing without looking behind them to re- recognize there's a fucking car behind them. So we stop, we see there's damage. Uh, these couple of Italian women, you know, come out, barely speak any English at all. One to throw like 50 euros to, to my parents to, to, to not file a claim, to not call the cops and shit like that. And all the right. bumper is fucked. The bumper is fucked. <laughs> I'm like, no, no, we got to call the cops. We got to do this fire report. And it's, it is a major deal. If you're an American uh, in in Germany, they're, they're very strict yes. about certain policies that need to be followed. And on top of that, it's way, 50 euros is way, way, way too little. And my mom's losing her mind. She's like, yeah. My dad is losing his shit because he knows he's been drinking. He's not Fuck. drunk, but he's definitely not sober. Yeah. All right. And he's like trying to get my mom to shut the fuck up because he knows cops are going to be coming. He doesn't want to draw attention. Doesn't want to get nailed because Germany, they are awesome with their alcohol, but they are super, super strict when it comes to drunk driving. Yeah. Super, yeah. Oh, sure. super fucking strict. Really? Yes. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. They will. They're like, you so, have your fun, but you fuck up. We're nailing uh, your ass to the fucking wall. Yeah. Auf Deutschland, or in Germany, you, there are no laws about drinking in public. There are no laws about being drunk in public as long as you're not making a fucking scene and assaulting somebody. Yep. Um, where here, you go to the store and you walk out, you crack a beer, and now you're in cuffs. Mm. Um, that's just a foreign alien fucking idea over there. It's yeah. you mm-hmm. go to the seven 11 equivalent, you grab a 40, 
You pop it, you walk home getting hammered. Yeah. Oh, well, don't bother anybody. Don't be an asshole. Exactly. And you're good. Which kind of makes sense, yeah. I feel like. Yeah. You know? Um, but, yeah, the Polizei, you don't fuck with the Polizei. Mm. And if you're drinking and now you're in a car, you are now fucking with somebody. Yep. They do not stand for you fucking with people. Damn. So cops come, and it's one cop, and it's literally his first day by himself. What year was this? Um, Ish. 2011. Mid- 2012. Yeah, or, or early to, uh, okay. you know, the teens, somewhere in there. So he probably there, rolled up with an MP5 trip. on him. Yeah. yeah. But, but so, he, yeah, the police yeah. carry MP5s with them along with a sidearm. Mm-hmm. Like, that's your st- your standard patrol officer yeah. kind of deal. <laughs> so my mom, and, and, and he also barely spoke any fucking English either. Weird. And also did not speak Italian at all. <laughs> Understandable. So he's trying his, his first day by himself trying to deal with these two people that he barely fucking understands um <laughs> and my mom losing her fucking mind the goddamn italian government 50 fucking euro <laughs> my dad's like shut the fuck up fuck up fucking go away <laughs> <All right? laughs> having to have harley drag my mom into some fucking random store to get her away from this <laughs> fucking situation <laughs> me and my dad are like motherfucker god damn it Pops is going to jail. He's going to go to fucking German goddamn gulag shit. I don't fucking know what I'm going to fucking do here. I don't got a fucking international driver's license. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. Holy shit. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, and luckily the cop, I think he was just so overwhelmed by the shit, he didn't even think drinking into the equation. But it just... And no, he's just like, goddamn Americans. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> but when I, when I hear Brad Pitt say, Italians... <laughs> You just think of your mom. Yeah, I think of my mom. And then I try to bring that, that story to my mind every That's time. Funny. It's something to this day that I'll just randomly throw into my, you know, in conversation when I'm having my mom or dad. God damn Italians! And they, my mom gets so mad at me for constantly throwing that in her face. You should, you should have her watch that scene. Once we uh, got everything done, it's like that. We get in the car. And my dad just starts unloading on her, <laughs> Shit. just pointing out how close her actions was getting to ruining everything in their lives right then. Yeah. Because she would have uh, potentially lost her job in clearance, been having to ship back. And this was only like two years before her retirement. Oh, uh, yeah. Fuck. Yes. Dad could have ended up in a German fucking jail oh for like God. a year plus. Yeah. All right. Everything would have just been fuckered all right because my mom just could not keep her fucking mouth shut that's funny <laughs> that is funny yes but great time that's a good story great time yeah, that's, that's a good story i had an amazing time it was a oh, uh like uh whatever the 200th anniversary of oktoberfest all right that's the year i was there oh Yes, the 200th anniversary. That means jack shit to me, but cool. Yeah, so, I mean, th- th- I'm I sure, can't say I'm what sure, year for sure it was. I'm sure Google can tell us yes, a lot. I think Ron may be looking up right now. Yeah, I'm looking um, right now. Um, 2010. There you go. That's it. Because uh, I remember going to <laughs> so, yeah. multiple Oktoberfest. It was amazing. <laughs> I remember getting shit-faced in Munich in a beer garden with a couple of Russians Nice. Yeah. <laughs> While drinking Jaeger. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I'm like, this is just so fucking random. <laughs> this is amazing. Up on fucking tables dancing. <laughs> that's, fucking that's one thing amazing. I want to do before I die is yes. you know, go amazing. go to Oktoberfest in Deutschland yes. and, and you know have have a couple too many. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good <laughs> story. It's wonderful. I thought that was a goddamn tooth. <laughs> <laughs> Another spicy one too, huh? <laughs> Our first one of the night. Yeah, my first one of the night. I'm like, why is that? So great? almost everyone's had. Or, no, you haven't had one yet. Um, it was just yeah, the, yeah, the motion had, uh, you made. I apologize. Three or four. <laughs> three or nope. four fucking spicy ones. <laughs> I've had one. You're an so asshole. Hard. I'm sorry, <laughs> but it's it's great. I hope you it. shit fucking fired now. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking dick. You, did, you, you try one of the habanero ones. It's a lot Dude, of I've fun. got fucking three or four goddamn ones in there. Oh, that was nice. You should chew through it. I did. That's how I tasted. I was. Yeah, well, you, got, you, no, guys are, there. you guys are empty. They're me. almost it's, out of there. I don't trust you. You keep saying that. It's, it's, I seriously I guarantee think I see you less put green, way more than you did originally. I put yeah. two bags in there. 
I swear yeah, to God. Bad, though, like a hundred piece. <laughs> All right, fucker. Honestly, you know what I think he's doing? I think he's just taking some and putting them back in there after we leave. So has anybody no, gotten like just a up. weird one yet? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Don't ask what flavor because it's. I just know it's weird. It's just yeah. odd. Yeah. Mike, this is not a good one, but it's not a spicy one either. Yep. So fuck it. <laughs> I'm rolling through. Fair. Um, so, so back then when they were, when they were making films, um, they had nitrate film. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, the, uh, and, the very flammable, and it's it, yeah, it's extremely flammable. And I, um, I I actually love how they put that little old clip from an old movie about can't going on the fucking uh, bus because it's the hazardous. Yeah. you know, yeah. But uh, I I've, I've heard that in a lot of movies. Actually, I think a lot of um, film uh, libraries have burned down because of that shit. Up until nineteen, <sighs> shit. See, they're fifty or sixty. They stopped using nitrate film. Yeah, um, just for that fucking reason alone. Um, now they, she had a fucking plethora, excuse me, of nitrate films, um, which, uh, fuck they, uh, oh no, 1951 is when they, uh, stopped using, <clears throat> stopped using nitrate films. Um, so during that whole scene there in the theater, you're right. My tongue. Because you're hot. crying. My you tongue, tears. my tongue is spicy. My Dude, mouth I had like, is on fire. I had two of those fucking spicy ones in a row. <laughs> no, we were sitting here. He was telling the story, and I'm looking over at Ragnar, and I just see Ragnar sitting there. Yeah, <laughs> like I'm trying to get my fucking tongue to cool off because <laughs> well, yeah, he doesn't have to get up and go to the bathroom and do no. everything else. Well, fuck that. He shit. also doesn't finish his fucking jelly bean because I'm smart. Yeah. <laughs> I know, bitch. I'm gonna quit her. That's fine. I'm smart. <laughs> I spit. Go ahead. That's right. I spit. I don't swallow. <laughs> Where do you get that from? <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you learn to swallow? <laughs> Spits and swallows. <laughs> oh, does he now? <laughs> You're giving him that fucking look. <laughs> what, no, what the fuck? <laughs> You, you were. The you were. <laughs> I'm just saying. There he goes. <laughs> you don't have. Any you problems. are so fucking slow. It doesn't even count anymore. Got it. Too late. Too late. You and have I never want to dance again. As a the way I dance with you. <laughs> so, anyways, um, so we see how she's got all the fucking nitrate film packed behind the fucking the yeah. screen, all piled up. So that whole. Burn sequence was real. What the, the fuck? whole theater burn scene was real. <laughs> okay. Um, so the they want it was supposed to be controlled, obviously. I liked how he tossed in supposed to be. I know, right? I'm intrigued. Continue. So I think I read about this. It, I, it uh, um, ultimately went out of control. And the, you see the Nazi symbol, um, fall off the uh rafters down right that's because the fucking uh the heat melted the cables the, um, the metal the, cables the, yeah the metal cables holding it up Bet. melted it okay um and you see <laughs> the flames literally fucking crawl up and over into the roof right into the ceiling of the fucking theater so that wasn't cgi that was all no, real that's all real that's crazy eli roth even said that they almost died <laughs> from this <sighs> Hey, when time you lose them. I think I remember reading about this like way back. I, I remember reading about this how this that nobody got hurt. No, no, yeah. nobody, nobody got seriously hurt. Uh, yeah, there nobody we go. died. Put <laughs> yeah. it that way. Nobody died. Some people may have walked out a little bolder, but you it know. made for a great. I mean, it made. I mean, it, even though nobody died, it it turned out great in how it looked because it yeah. looked realistic as fuck. I, I thought it that was. was. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly. But I thought it was like CGI or something. That like that, but that was all real fire right oh, there. No, no, that was a whole. Yeah. That was a whole stick. That was a whole fucking real fire that that got out of control. So, Shit. so with that scene, did you guys like the part where um this I forgot her name Emmanuel? Well, she speaks English as her last thing as her like her death. Shoshana. Uh, Shoshana, thank you. Mm. As uh, she's speaking English as on the projector. Do you guys find that like? Can I didn't know she speak English? Well, she was she was French Jewish, so more than likely she did not uh, want to ever learn the German tongue. And English was a more even even then yeah. was kind of, uh, the international um, language of business, which I, it still is. 
I loved how the uh, the you could see it through the fire, like in the smoke, and, mm-hmm. and yes. it was all waving. Like everything. the I Wizard of was, Oz. Yes, yes. I was just thinking about that. The man yeah. behind yeah. the curtain. Yep. But yeah, uh, because because English is the uh, international language of business, it's the most often taught second language to to most in most countries. <laughs> Whatever happened to Marcel? Did he die? I hope he just did. Don't know because he was back there. He was the one who set the fire, and he then he just smoked, started smoking a cigarette when it started. No, well, he just throwing. finished a cigarette. He finished a cigarette. He finished. And oh, he threw, yeah, yeah, and threw it inside the uh, the pile. That's why I figured he yeah. just no. head out, or he actually died because everybody seems like everybody died in that theater. Yeah, like, the only people that survived were uh, Christoph, uh, Christoph Waltz, Christoph Waltz, and uh, <coughs> uh, Brad Pitt's character when they rolled out. Well, they weren't in the theater. So no, that that's right. Count. They were at, they were at the uh, other place making the whole deal with the uh, general and stuff like yeah. that on the phone. Yeah, that's Harvey Cartel. Yes, I know. Yeah. yeah. Which another regular, uh, yeah. another regular with uh, Quentin Tarantino is Harvey Cattell. Yeah, Mr. White. So overall, like, shut the fuck up! <laughs> it's not White Christmas. <laughs> I'm dreaming. It's always gonna go back to me. What? Who would be your guys's favorite you character? Guys. Oh, Hugo. What? Who's you guys? Hugo. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Definitely. What's I, his I, last I, name, was... Ron? Solich. You're literally staring at his shirt. <laughs> there's, a, there's a crease in the G, and I couldn't see the G. That's the problem. His shirt was creasing, so I was like, st- st- I couldn't see the G. So much confidence. Your voice had the confidence, but your face was like, I'm pretty sure I'm wrong. Your, your fucking face was priceless. I had no idea what the fuck you're talking about. You're staring you're, at me. I'm like, what the fuck are I'm you saying? Because I'm looking at your shirt. But then I see the fucking crease in the middle of the t-shirt. So I couldn't see what the... So I was like... St- I didn't see the G. Oh, it's the glitch. I can't fucking breathe. God damn it, Ron. You have derailed. Oh, oh, All right, so... <laughs> Who was it? Uh, I'll let you say Ron, it. I'll let you say it. Who was it? I'll let you say it. I mean, I can say mine. I can't say yours. I, I'm just saying Hugo. 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 Hugo, Hugo. boss? Hugo weaving? <laughs> you guys suck. Who is it? <laughs> Stiglitz. Living on Stiglitz. <laughs> Who? <laughs> That's my last time. I'm not no, going no, to party. You got it right. You got it right enough. Well, we'll stop there. <laughs> that was too fucking good, though. God damn it. Who goes Stiglitz? Yeah. Chase Stiglitz. <laughs> I said it right. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Oh fuck, that was too good. My, Who was yours? My favorite. Um, Ooh, banana. I think. Ooh, banana. Was but, are you calling back for to Charlie Chaplin? I think there's a banana. Ooh, banana? Strong second though was Michael banana. Fassbender. I actually really enjoyed his character. <clears throat> Even though it was a very short role. I, I didn't him. like him because he was probably one of the worst uh, espionage agents I've ever seen. But he went. <laughs> he, I, I make sure to blend in with the culture. Try. Fucking what? <laughs> no, I think that's an understandable mistake. I really do. It is. Okay. I think it's understandable in the easily in the overlooked. Moment, yeah, in yeah. the moment, adrenaline going on and instinct, you yeah. know, coming well, out. Your natural, yeah. your natural um, fallback is <clears throat> what you know. And I, but I think he went out in a blaze of glory when you think about it. Like he did, he didn't go out like a pussy. Oh no. It, oh, there, no, was, there, was a, there was a lot of testicular anger in yeah. that room. Yeah. Yeah. Like I that, mean, that, everyone that, in there knew or st- they sorry, were testicular dead. They were violence. Fucking testicular yeah. fortitude. <laughs> no, no, they didn't last long. They all got pretty fucked up. Yeah. The fortitude was gone, sir. Yeah. So who's yeah, yours? Fortitude. My favorite. Uh, Bear Jew. No, I figured. Honestly. Yeah. yeah. Because, you know, there's just. Well, he's you, the one that shot up Hitler. He <laughs> shot him up to you, fucking you hell. You got to respect the the ravenous um, method that somebody like him takes on, on uh, dispatching particular uh, opponents. Yeah. You know? Nice. It's, it's, it's good. It's <laughs> cathartic. You need to watch. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, definitely. Uh, Brad Pitt's character, Alder Reigns. Yeah. I mean, just fucking iconic. I mean, 
he's gonna be forever a legend for this for this role. I mean, it's just uh, that's why he's gonna be a legend. Just it's just <laughs> you say a line, you like, go right to it. You know, it's forever iconic. It's gonna be live forever. Fitness, so I mean, fitness is a booming. Yeah, damn right. But yeah, that's that's my favorite character. <laughs> All right, Stu, Lada. Yeah, Lada. Yeah, I really, really loved fucking every scene that Chris Christoph was in. And just chewing the fucking scenery, but in such a smart, he stole, amazing he stole the scenes. fucking way. Yeah. He and stole he, the yes. scenes. The Even movie. getting fucking carved up. I'm like, good. He still got what he fucking deserved. Uh, but I understood his motivations every time that he was on the fucking screen. He played it very well. Lada? Isn't that his name? Lada? Lada? No. No. Londa? All right. That's there three times. I, I really thought it was Hans Lada. Hans Landa. Yeah. Landa. Okay, I really Landa. thought it was, yeah. I didn't but, know there yeah, was that. Yeah, that is three. Yeah, there's an end in there. Okay. Yeah. Since we've got him and him, now it's you. For a character name versus an actor's name? I did say his name. We got him on Stiglitz. Yeah. Did we get him? We yep. were trying to. <laughs> no, we got him. That's why the, okay. the, the, the wheel's over there, bud. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wow, this one's actually a full punishment shot show. Thanks, Ragnar. <laughs> It's not just you. Know, I, I honestly thought it was Lada. No, that's a that's a Russian shitty car. <laughs> what Lada sounds like it's from a different movie. This is another movie that uses Lada. La- yeah, Rocky. A lot of vagina. OG punishment. Uh, you don't have any, which means you have to take a double shot because okay. you haven't brought any uh, hypnotic yet. Oh. Oh uh, no, you got the you got the pepper shit. Um, how, that's no, not OG. No. That's not OG. Uh, uh, hold on. Table vote. No, 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 no. There might be some in the barrel. Is there? Oh, there is. I can see it from here. Uh-huh. Oh, there you go. Oh, you got lucky. And it's basically a double anyway. There you go. That works. Your favorite shit. Dude, it's so fucking slow. So slow. <laughs> <laughs> He's just draining it's into got his a fat mouth. bottom and a small neck. <laughs> you still hate that stuff? Yeah. It tastes like fucking <laughs> rotten fruit. All right. So who's your favorite, Ragnar? Uh, Landa. Oh, same. Yeah, yeah, same as Stu. Yeah, yeah. His character is is great. It's because you see his character in Thanks, um, in a lot of either memes or gifts or whatever. Yeah, you know, um, his his giddiness <laughs> at, the end, at the end of That's the a fucking bingo. movie. You know, <laughs> no, no, is no, we just say fucking bingo. great. What happened? What? No, I just I was waiting for you to finish your current thought because i want to inject something okay inject interject okay. interject, um, interject i hope you're not no, injecting, injecting at the table it. i'm injecting oh. into the conversation oh boy this okay. is not the kind um, of show we do so we recorded an episode you know on friday mm-hmm. that people were supposed to be at correct that correct. weren't oh correct correct yeah. yes correct. yes um oh are we going, Goot, are we I going full absolutely cycle absolutely giving you a free pass 100 percent a free pass you were, helping, loved you were you. helping a buddy out. I would have loved for, for you to be here. Would have absolutely loved it. But I'm giving you 100% a free pass based on the situation. Yeah, my heart's flooding right now. I'm like, oh, shit. He's about to get me. <laughs> <laughs> and the only reason I'm doing this is because Chase felt the need to hit me on a show that, that oh, I was supposed man. to be at. But Chase <laughs> was a Every single person would have had a punishment show on this show. All right. Oh. You got lucky, Goot. Watch him be a self destruct. Uh oh. Cock shot. Oh! Who's picking? Stew? Is it uh, Daddy Picks? Daddy Pickles Stew is what it reads. What? What? It says Daddy Pickles or Daddy oh. Picks Stew. <laughs> so, so what? I am not pickling you. I thought you said Daddy, Daddy S is going to switch. Dick. I'm like, I don't know. What? No. No. <laughs> it's Picks. You. It, it says Daddy Picks Stew. So, so what stew am I having, Daddy? <laughs> no, it's, it's a, Ragnar. It, you, you have to say it to Ragnar. You gotta say it. Let's play punishment, Daddy. There you go. <laughs> Remember, he loves uh, raspberry liqueur. 
I do love the fact that our cock shot is the only one that's just like an image. <laughs> that's all it is. Everything else is oh, written out. Well, it and makes, we just have a dick. It uh, is shot and a very face. childish dick. Things are easy to easy to uh, yeah. read when it's just fucking pictures. <laughs> oh, he likes Jaeger. That's fine. So he gets rewarded. There you go. You're happy now. Oh, no, that's just nope. a splash. Oh, oh shit. Oh, he's making a combo. Thanks, assholes. Can I get the uh, <laughs> raspberry, please? Or blackberry, whatever. Oh, she just is. jumped for that. Raspberry she just ran quick. So a little raspberry bit of Everclear. Beret. Not a lot. <laughs> Not a lot. I don't want to kill it. There we go. Oh, man. Oh, is it closer for this one? Oh, she's, she's excited. I've already got it fucking going. Oh, I know, but I'm probably going to post this on TikTok. The fuck shit's happening to me? What? All right, so what's in there, uh, Ragnar? Oh, boy. Uh, spit of Jaeger, a... I don't like that uh, measurement u- uh, unit. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. A dribble of Jaeger, a spit of Everclear, and a shot of uh, black raspberry. Yeah, a nice big cum shot. Uh, that, if that looks you like your fucking cum shot, ER you need to see a doctor. Now... Too much Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, I don't know. If, uh, you might have a stab wound that went wrong. I mean, I guess they all kind of go wrong, honestly. Okay. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Depends on the person's point of view. <laughs> Too shit. All right. If we I'm did, doing the stabbing, then the wound has gone correctly. We didn't just watch a movie <laughs> about stabby, a bunch of Nazis. Yes. That's like candy. That's um, spicy candy. Okay, and... um, okay. I like it. Now, right, well, thank you very much, good sir. Punishment, right? Punishment shot. Kill. Punishment shot. Yeah. Punishment shot. Punishment shot. Goot, did you have a punishment shot tonight? Uh, that's <laughs> negative, sir. All right, I vote out of solidarity that <laughs> you, you get a punishment, punishment shot, shot because you have not had a punishment shot. <laughs> All in favor, say aye. 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 Uh, Motion passes. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for it. That's when my heart was fluttering. I'm like, this is, my God. This is the end game. <laughs> oh, shit. On the table. On the table. Ugh. Oh, that should be another roll. It, it has to be. It has to be. You got to do two now because we've all gotten fucked for that. That sounds so good. <laughs> That's some ASMR level bullshit. Self struct. Right oh, it's been a while all since right. we've had that. Now roll it again. What? Spin because yeah, he didn't eat spin, spin. yeah off I the table. It was just a redo. No, I'm get two. Self destruct. <laughs> OG punishment. So that would be what? Like gold uh, no, uh, gold slogger should be gold slogger. That's back right. Back. Yes. All right. And what's the self destruct drink? Uh, Malort. Just okay. regular yeah. Malort. Yay! Yeah. I thought a while since I had oh, some good man. old Malort. That's been, that's been that. quite a while. Yes. Yeah. Got gold slogger. Thank you. Uh, just pour it. Do you have a shot? Uh, there's what a shot, did you just say? Glass right there. Uh, no, you do count. <laughs> Fine, then you're my host. Take it, spin. Yeah. You're her representative. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, that's the rule. Yeah, that's the fucking rule. All right. Um, <laughs> oh, that's the case. And I can call all y'all's names out right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a minute. I need to go punish someone. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Keep it up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we haven't had a sh- uh, a show with this many shots in a long time. Thank you for allowing me to take uh, the moment to inject. Your You're very welcome. Yeah, I got a point All right. It's been a while since we've had uh, self destruction. That's nice. It's been a while since we've had Malort. Exactly. It's been a hot fucking minute. Uh, is there another glass over there? No. Here, give me that one. Yeah, that's fine. What'd you lay on? Barrel. Barrel. Of the punishes. Well, you don't have a uh, hypnotic in there, at least. Aviation gin. Ooh. Oh, well, yeah. there you go. Hey, Ryan Reynolds, thank you very much. You got lucky with that one. Yep. No longer a part of it, but that's right. No? No, he's old. Mm-hmm. What was the episode that we did? Oh, that was uh, Deadpool. Yeah. Did he's he a did super did fucking did smart did business man. Hmm? Oh, he, he is. is a super oh, Ryan Reynolds? Yeah, yeah super no, I've heard smart. about that. His, for him. his business plan that he has. Is what do you need? Oh, you need your yes. Malort. He's like, dupe is smart. Fine, I uh, will grab your you. Give me a, get a, his. a bit of the company. I will be your fucking spokesperson. We will fucking raise the shit out of the fucking value, and then sell, and we all make money. Yeah. Yep. 
He's done that with everything. Mint, Mint Mobile, he just uh, exited out of there not too long ago. Everybody got their Malort. Yep. Yeah. All right. Yep. Ah, <sighs> yay. To old favorites, right? Ah, uh, yes, yeah. sir. To uh, the OG. Score. Gross. I've missed it. I've missed it. I don't know if that's the right word. I, no, I, I have. It doesn't bother <laughs> me. It's been a long time. It doesn't bother me anymore. I'm so used to it. Shit, now. you're right. It's already gone. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You're what used, the fuck? Because you're used to it. We, we've drank the, I mean, how many bottles have we gone through? Four, four or five? A lot. At least four. A yeah. lot. We only got like two That's or three like left. A weekend in Chicago. Who the hell else do you know who can say they've gone through four bottles of a But Lord? it's been <laughs> the hobo in Chicago. 200 and some fucking episodes. All right. Yeah. All right. I think it uh, debuted still, on the Weird Science episode. I mean, is that what it? Yeah, that was. Yeah, that's where it debuted. Yep. Weird yep. Science, which was Stu's episode. Yep. Because it's Chicago. Chicago! All right. Um, go ahead, Goot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Just tr- You're supposed to drink from the bottle. Okay, fine. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I got shit. I got, You're shit. Fucking bougie. I got shit for doing that. I don't... No, no, no! For leaving shit. No, 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 no! Said. You said you guys gave me shit for putting it in a glass. No, you drink from the bottle. I don't remember that, but I, okay. I do. I, I, I do. Okay. I'm not I arguing. Do. I remember that. I, I just don't remember it. It's fine. It, it, it's fine. Everything's fine. Finish the bottle. If, did you, was everything in? No, it's another. It's basically yeah. a double shot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, the Malort tastes good. Actually, it doesn't bother me. Yeah, it doesn't bother I me. I missed it. It's been a minute. <laughs> oh, God. All right, so where are we at? Gin, gin, oh, gin. shit. Uh, like you got gin. that last clip. Dude, I think we are uh, at the fucking end here. All right, you want to play that last uh, clip? We're at the end game? Yep. Yeah, hit that. Uh, let's do the last one. End game. Huh. Ah. Scalp Herman. Where are you mad? What have you done? Exactly. I made a deal with you gentlemen for that man's life! Yeah, they made that deal, but they don't give a fuck about him. They need you. <laughs> You'll be shot for this? Best nah, line. I don't think so. More like chewed out. I've been chewed, chewed out, out before. I love that. <laughs> you know, you Fucking bitch myself beautiful. heard that deal you made with the brass. In the war night, I make that deal. How about you, you bitch? You make that deal? I make that deal. I don't you blame you. Fucking Damn good deal. Yeah, I'll make that. Uh-huh. And that pretty little nest you feather for yourself. Well, if you're willing to barbecue the whole hot command, I suppose that's worth certain considerations. But I do have one Ooh. question. When you get to your little place on Nantucket Island, I imagine you won't take off that handsome-looking SS uniform of yours. Ain't you? That's what I thought. Now that I can't abide. How about you, Udovich? Can you abide it? Not one damn bit, sir. I mean, if I had my way, you'd wear a goddamn uniform you. for the rest of your pecker sucking life. <laughs> if I'm wearing any practical, I mean, at some point, you got to have to take it off. Thank so, you. So, is that a yay or no? I'm going to give you can't take off. I love this score, by the way. Yeah. Which is actually we didn't talk about. We'll talk about it. Yeah! This is so visceral. Yes. This shit. This might be my... This is the normal Tarantino shot, by the way. Yes. Yeah, yeah when, when he's looking up. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. You want something to eat, bitch? I think this just might be my masterpiece. To masterpieces! Yeah! The, that whole scene there was... It's, it's an amazing scene. He... Fucking... The acting, though, of, of Kristoff for get, getting his forehead fucking carved in yep. and shit... The look on his face. Yeah. The, the building is, up to it. He knows it's coming. It's fucking... Yeah. It's so fucking... I wish I could find... Could have found something The thing is, he should have known that. How they did that. You know? Of like... 
how he how he was able to actually bring out like that sort of fucking emotion. Yeah. Into that particular scene there. Because Somebody that step is on real. his balls. Ah! And Greg, yeah. and, uh, Greg Nicotaro's, um, he did the uh, makeup, which I love Greg Nicotaro. Oh, did he? he did? Up, yeah, he did Dust of oh, He does good. He does good shit. And, uh, the way that you see the, it, it looks it's real. flawless. So, yeah, he's carving right into his forehead. It looks fucking real. You I, see I, the, when you, when, when you That was 100% open, practical? Huh? Was that 100% practical? Yeah. Well, that's Greg Nicotaro right there. I fucking love his uh, special. Well, effects. I'm only surprised by that because of how thick the effect appeared and how realistic. Yeah, it, it didn't look like there was anything stacked on top of his forehead. You yeah, know? Uh, he, he's a he's a uh, he's got the long curly hair. He's actually really he, he's done really great. He did he's Dust Till Dawn, all the Walking Dead, <clears throat> all the Walking Dead makeups. Uh, he's, done, he's 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 got he's yeah. done a couple George Romero. I think he did Land of the Dead. I believe, I, if I'm not mistaken, he's I, done a couple of his. Yeah. So, but he, he's, he's actually very in, he was actually in Day of the Dead. Yeah, he's uh, he's one of the uh, soldiers in Day of the Dead. Actually, he you guys got shorter see hair. Rise of the uh, was it the new one? What was it? That Living Dead Rises. Yes, no. Evil Dead Rises. Evil Dead. Yeah, we got. Yes, it. Yeah, I saw it. It's all right. I actually I thought it was really well done. It was good. I, I, do you, do you find like it better it. than the uh, Evil Dead remake? Jeez. Actually, yeah. You think it's better than the Evil Dead remake? I do. Because I thought the Evil Dead remake was done really well. I thought this was no, I a think pretty I, good rendition. I, I, I thought it was good. It groovy. groovy. Set in a city environment, but still feel isolated. Yeah, I thought that, that was, was nice. really that well was done. Genius. Yeah. Um, the mom was really fucking good. Really fucking good in that. Yeah. 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 Nice. Um, the effects were on point for the Evil Dead. Mm -hmm. They really were. Did not disappoint at all. That was a shame, though. She seemed like a badass mom. Yeah. Mommy's with the maggots now. Yes. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's 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 actually a really good, uh, well made uh, horror movie. Uh, do you want to go ahead and go into pint reviews? In. Yeah, we can jump right into it because I think uh, cool. I you think that's do about this all quick, I've got. I'm no, that's, that's great, man. It, I'm, I'm going to tell you, this was a fun one to talk about. A yeah. fun movie to talk about. So this we're going to go ahead and start with Stu first. This Alqui Hall's okay. Hard Round table all the way back. Go pee pee. Right um, enjoyment. I will give it go a. Pee -pee. No, I mean the brain. Four you, gotta go, you gotta go poo-poo? The fuck? Or pee pee. What the hell which are is, you on about? Is, you saying, pee -pee? You got, you're saying this alcohol is hitting you. My brain, quickly. Does your oh. brain have to pee pee or poo poo? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> Am I having a goddamn stroke? <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, All right, go ahead. What was your, uh, what was enjoyment, your review? I'll give it a, a, a very strong four and a half. Nice. I yeah. really will. Yeah. Um, it brought me a lot of joy. A strong four and a half. Would that be a 4.75? No. Four and a half is a four and a half. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's wanna, a four and a half. I want to clarify. It's I feel closer like... to a 4.75 than it is a 4.0. Oh. All right. So. Okay. Yeah. Um. Maybe a 4.6.9. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> very fucking call back. <laughs> There's a lot of blood in this. Yes. Huh? <laughs> um, no, no, so everything. like no, really strong four and a half for enjoyment. Um, it is. Yeah, I would say it's my, in my top three enjoyments of Tarantino's films. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's my top three. Um, critical. You think Tarantino's gotten better through time? Do you feel like his movies have gotten better? I think he's or they've adapted. Gone? Yeah, he's adapted more. He may have been given time. more leeway to do what he wants to do. Okay. And bigger budgets behind it to do what he wants to do to put his vision on the screen. Okay. Um, more successfully. I'm not going to say he's getting better because my most enjoyable of Tarantino's Reservoir Dogs. is Reservoir Dogs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and obviously that's well beginning before time. This, right? Yeah. All right. So, I, I it's hard for me to say better. It's just he's given more ability to to show what he wants to show. Um, you know what? Go ahead and uh, in in your review, go ahead and give your top three Tarantino films. I think that would be a little. Good um, it's gonna be Reservoir Dogs, Django, and Glorious. I wasn't thinking Django. Okay, yeah. Uh, as far as in straight enjoyment, yeah, straight enjoyment. It's in that order. Okay. Um, critically. It's a very well, very, very well written film. Very well acted film. Oh, is it a perfect film, though? I do not think it's a perfect film. No, it's not perfect. 
So I'll probably have to give it a four, another four and a half. I, I really am. It, it's close. Yeah. It's that, close that, that, to, to, to gold. Uh, you know, it's, I don't know exactly what could be better, but I do feel that there could be something mm-hmm. yeah. critically done better, uh, but I'm, I'm not Tarantino. I don't, I can't point out exactly yeah. where the flaw is. It yeah. just feels like something. He okay. has, he, he has a, um, the storyline got jumbled about three quarters through. I don't, Maybe. It's I don't like it's think like he so. went ADHD, which I can appreciate because I'm fucking riddled with it. But, but it fit the what it was building up to, and then it fit, all right, we're gonna deliver and show these multiple different views, yeah. and it, it felt needed and deserved at that point. So I'm gonna have to disagree with your point there. All right. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'll give it I'll give four and a half on both sides. That's a good review. All right, yeah. goop. On that note, I mean, he, he would go day to day, like, is based on the energy. Yeah, he was kind of like tightly, you know, he held his script to high regard. He kept it tight, but based on the energy of that day, yeah, he would chase some things around. Okay. Okay. That's but fair. that would yeah. make sense. That tracks. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. That would make sense for him. Okay. All right. So, enjoyment is a five for me. I think Ragnar and I had this, we're the only ones that had this in our top 10 movies. Mm-hmm. And, um, but I mean, just the homage, just the history and like the Western movies, his appreciation for it, and, you know, spaghetti Westerns. I mean, just the, the face-to-face conflicts and the tension through there was just masterfully done. And it's just beautifully done. Yeah. Um, I mean, just the, the building of tension, the comedy, just Landis, you know, Christopher, Christoph Waltz and, and Brad Pitt. And those are two iconic characters and it'll be forever remembered. Um, I mean, critically, this is a five for me as well. I watched this movie multiple nice. times throughout the year. Five out of five. Very nice. Um, top three movies. I mean, Kill Bill. I, one Kill two. Bill Volume 1 and 2 it, is it, one it, movie. It's one yes. film. Yeah, it, because okay. you can actually call Kill Bill the whole bloody affair. That's actually what the original title was. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then Reservoir Dogs and then Glorious Bastards. My Carantino okay. top three. All right. I think Reservoir or Reservation Dogs is better. <sighs> Reservoir is better than reservation. <laughs> absolutely, reservation is fun. It, it, it is absolutely fun. <laughs> absolutely fun. <laughs> but reservoir dogs is. I know, I know, I know. Okay, uh, I'm officially quite fuckered by the booze. So let's see what if we can power there? through. Fuck you. Uh, power through this. I'm surprised it took them this long. Do you want some Everclear? I already had some. Does that count as no. like the th- where it went? No, that was a spit. Th- you you want some? Different no, measurements. No, I'm good. I appreciate it. It's voluntary. I'm gonna decline okay. politely and professionally. Okay. <laughs> you only had a dribble and a spit. That was it. <laughs> really <laughs> uncomfortable <laughs> unit of measurement. No, it's a perfect way to measure it. I don't uh, I don't shit. don't appreciate Do you it. You want a load of Everclear? <laughs> 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 this is what happens when you hang out with the old guys. <laughs> They do get less powerful, but it's still just as powerful. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's been a few months. It's just dust. <laughs> so what's your enjoyment? Uh, Sorry, right. those thrusts are fucking real. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ah, my back! <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, enjoyment. Uh, I'm going to match. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to match with Stu on this one. Enjoyment's a f- solid 4.5. Four and a half? Yes, that would be four point five. Another way of saying Absolutely, it, yes. we appreciate you and your fractional um, conver- conversion, sir. Thank I you. Was, okay, I was, you were saying exactly what he said. I know that. I in was a just, different way. He's taking us to math class. It's okay, and we Literally. all deserve some education, right? Yeah. <laughs> Critical. I don't know. Uh, fucking two thumbs up. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm joking. That was actually uh, a joke. Fuck off. Good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Good joke. It, was. it felt very natural. Uh, let's see. Uh, critically, honestly, it was put together spectacularly. It's not perfect by any means. Just like Stu was saying, there is something just not quite there. And even I can't put my yeah. my thumb on it because you know, you know, part of my part of me said you know that three quarters of the way through, it felt like it was losing its direction. But you have a good point where it, it's, he films very much so based on the energy of the day on set. And you had a very good point where it, it, it owes itself to that composition. So maybe 
he lost. I, I don't. It, it felt like parts of the movie were a little bit hollow in content. Um, even though it didn't really. It, it, I think that's what it was. Is that it dragged a little bit here and there. That being said, it wasn't a very long movie. Um, two hours and twenty minutes, I think, mm-hmm. roughly. Yeah. Okay, so I would say that's a that's a meaty. You know, uh, um, I mean, they cut out about an hour. I, I think this is one of the his, original. I that, think this is that, one of close to one of his short. Well, Reservoir Dogs is his shortest movie, I believe, but it's close to one. of I think it's his yeah, like second uh, shortest. It does seem like it just could have more ass behind it. Yeah, like there are scenes in this movie that are just powerful as fuck. Yeah, and you're like, oh hell yeah, dude, let's get it. And then there's other which is like just okay. I'm, I'm waiting for the next thing. Um, so I'm going to have to give this probably critically <sighs> because of the powerful scenes. I want to give it another four and a half, but because of the overall, I'd say 3.75 or three uh, would be more adequate Wow! because it, it is, it is missing something. And it's, it's, it feels like a pretty big chunk when you look at the broad picture but your brain does want to focus on the high action, you know, very interesting parts. But if you're looking at the entire movie as a whole, you, there's a lot of hollowness. Yeah. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I don't, I don't really see the what hollowness. You're saying, but yeah, I, I'm, it, it, I'm with it's, it's on just, that. it's just not <clears throat> getting as much meat to it as you would expect. So, or, right, so you think the, it needs to be longer? And no, and, no, 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 oh. no, no. So you have multiple More, stories, though. Yes, right? it's, it's multiple that, stories. That literally, that are building up for to, instance, to me in, for instance, in the very end. Which is also uh, a thing with Tarantino with, with all his ex- movies separated Shosh- in chapters now. Yeah. Right. For instance, uh, Shoshana's Escape. Uh-huh. If you were to cut, cut that to a more interesting level, it doesn't make much of a difference. But you would shave probably about two and a half seconds off of her running away. What would have been more interesting, though? And then moving on to the next scene. Yeah, but what they would have been kept, more interesting? They though? Would, what do you mean? I well, think I. Well, you I, said I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not talking about. Uh, I'm not talking about um, substitutions. No, 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 no. But you're saying no. You would cut it to a more interesting part. He said shave two and a half seconds off, off of like, Jasana's run. You, know, you think things like that. It, it's. I, I, Some I'm of the, I, th- I felt that timing was right because it does build up the tension. Is is Londa getting he's ready to shoot her not. or not? And no, then all of a sudden, that had already been nope, decided. Bye. He'd bye, already dropped. I, It felt right. No, because he was. It was giving you all impressions that uh, Londa was lining up, getting ready to take the fucking shot. Right, and he and dropped. Then last second decided, nope. Bye. Right. It, okay. it was a right. good build up, and then. Sees you know, see you know him calling off to her, and then boom, next scene. I think it was a perfect done yeah. sequence, in my opinion. You do not have to raise your hand. Just grab the fucking. No, no, here. no, because I, we we, for, we fucking missed a part. Do you want what? to talk about the restaurant? We did talk about the restaurant. Oh, the uh, strudel. Yes. yes. Oh, no. yeah. That dragged like a motherfucker. You're right. No, it didn't. I, I thought it did. No, I thought it was great. I thought it was fucking it, it was amazing. Very tension building. That's the whole point. The acting she pulled off, the fucking deep breath she took at the end. No, no, that, no. Christoph no, Waltz just apologies. staring at her and all of a sudden saying, I was, oh, I just forgot it. I thought that was great. My apologies. Again, the alcohol is hitting. Fuck me. Okay. <laughs> like, I'm pretty goddamn hammered right now. <laughs> what are your top three uh, Tarantino movies? The fuck did you just say to me? Simple question. What are your top three Tarantino movies? I've seen <laughs> Pulp Fiction, this one, and um, Tombstone. Or not Tombstone. The fucking <laughs> uh, the Hateful Eight. Then those are his top three. <laughs> that, that, that's what that's it is. That's three. also his bottom three. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go here. Uh, I have a fascination with World War II movies, especially when it comes to... Uh, what the fuck was that? That was you, <laughs> Chase. <laughs> We agreed on two prior episodes that this is acceptable because I'm curious to see how fucked up I am if it's accurate. Oh, okay. 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 Right. I thought it was a phone. Okay. I have a fascination with World War II movies. I, I didn't know it was the uh, breathalyzer. Yeah. Oh, you're God, fucking you blow you're so good. retarded fucking That thing doesn't give great I readings. It, up anyway. it doesn't give great readings anyways. Yeah. Uh, I have a fascination with World War II movies. I always have uh, when it comes to uh, the Nazis against the Americans and uh, the, always... 
always have been a fascination. I also love documentaries and stuff like this. I think World War Three movies are better. Shut the fuck up. But I will say this: <laughs> they could be. They will be soon. This is That's upgraded version. To me, this is actually one of Tarantino's masterpieces, in my opinion. I think this is a fucking great movie. I fucking. It's got comedy. Mm-hmm. It's got fucking drama. It's got fucking action. 100%. It's got everything that you want. It's got the violence, the ultra violence. It's just a great fucking movie. The acting is superb. I fucking love everything about this. Enjoyment's going to be a five. This is an enjoyment for five. This isn't my top three when it comes to Tarantino movies. I fucking love this movie. I think this is a really well done. And when it comes to the um, critical, this is near perfect. I won't say a five. I'd say 4.75. So it's no Predator. <laughs> no. I, was still, I knew that was coming it's uh, it's yeah. always gonna be there yeah because tr- there That's are what she said i it, it's in my top three but it's not like my number one do you think quentin would be upset <laughs> to hear that, that you think predator was a critical no. better film <laughs> no <laughs> glorious bastards the things he would say to you to your fucking you know face what tarantino <laughs> actually said fucking insulted. no no you know what tarantino said he said that lone ranger from disney is actually a, is a five out of five I'm dead serious. He loves that movie. Johnny Depp, Lone, Dra- Lone Ranger? Yes. Five that out of five. shit to bed compared to the original. What the fuck does he... That movie's great. I fucking love that movie. Okay. Yeah, it's it's a good movie. But have you seen the original Lone Ranger? Yes. Did I've seen episodes see- of it. Ep- ep- There's ep- It was a TV series also. That's what he's talking about. He saw the TV I wasn't series. talking about the TV series. We're talking about movies. I haven't seen the original have we, have we ever Have we ever reviewed TV series yet? Sort of. Yeah, so, sort of. We bring them into discussions. Yeah. Right, but have we ever reviewed... Eh, anyway. Including on next week's episode. Well, any whore. <laughs> yeah. <Ryan Legacy. laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, so I definitely, critically, this is a 4.75. I think this is a really well-done movie. The cinematography is great. The fucking music... I love Tarantino, how he uses... Uh, oh, the score was fantastic. Well, actually, it's not It's not a score meant for the movie. Those are actually scores from right. other movies, from Spaghetti and, Westerns no, and stuff like that. But he did it very well. Yes. It, his picks that he puts in the movie are great. I enjoy the hell out of this movie. This is a very entertaining. I loved it when we saw it in the theater. I remember that we left the theater fucking like, wow, that was fucking awesome. I mean, this was, I mean, you remember that, Stu, when we saw that. I think we saw that with yeah. your old buddy, actually, I, I believe. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. But uh, all together, great fucking movie. So a five for enjoyment, critical 4.75. And my top three Tarantino movies is Reservoir Dogs is one of them. Hateful Eight. Hateful Eight is my top. I love the Hateful Eight. I love it that more. That's my one of my top Tarantino movies of all time. And then Inglorious Bastards, probably a strong number two. But the fact is, is that uh, th- this was a good pick, and hold I was on, actually very- hold on. You know, Reservoir Dogs, Hateful Eight, Inglorious Bastards, a strong number two. Yeah, you caught that. Yeah. yeah okay. All right. What I meant is Hateful Eight is number one. Inglorious Bastards number two, Reservoir Dogs number three. That's okay. what I meant. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I, I got my news mixed up. <laughs> By the, the way, math there but, wasn't. Yeah, uh, Reservoir Dogs. The math wasn't mathing, but that math Reservoir Dogs. Everybody mathing. would say that Pulp Fiction is one of his best movies because it was iconic when it came out and stuff like that. But well, Reservoir Dogs is by far just a great story. The the acting, the fucking just, and I compare Hateful Eight and Reservoir Dogs almost being the same. The way that it's filmed, the way that it's done, because it's like all these guys trapped, uh, talked in, talking to a room and arguing with each other and and killing each other and everything else. But uh, yeah, no. This I, I'm glad you picked this movie. This was a fun one to do. So this, so far, this is in everybody's top three Tarantino films. For the record, so far, yes. I finally got my thoughts straight. And on one them. person's bottom three. Yeah, mm-hmm. and they're top. <laughs> yes, but he's more of a bottom. He, yeah, you, you don't know me very well. Anyways, that's my review. So I'm gonna hand it off to Ragnar to end the show. So, but like I was saying. About the, because uh, I had already said that. What? Like, anyway. Um, since I'm drunk and I finally got my f- fucking thoughts together. No, uh, what I was talking about, some of the shots lasted longer than they should be. Um, your introduction to first seeing Bear Jew and him clinking his baseball bat. I thought it was great. That lasted so long that. I Crystal just, and I were literally laughing because it lasted so goddamn long. But it I went from think that was cool. It was bringing the tension to up. build up to tension, and it was like right there. And then it went for twenty more fucking it, seconds. It, it delayed the orgasm. No, that, that was the point. No, yeah. it, it, it was meant to be an excessive hit. amount of time, and that's what it was meant to be. You, to the point where everybody's like, 
all right, when the fuck is this going to happen? Uh-huh. Jesus right. fucking Christ. And then, oh, okay. <laughs> no, that's exactly it went what it was. Good to, to shitty deliver. humor, and it didn't fit the, the plot, I felt. I felt. Mm-hmm. Again, that is my it opinion. Fit, I think it fit and with it the bear right. character you, you, you extremely well. Got to respect his opinion. Starting the that's hammering, his. or starting the hitting of the bat. Honestly, a little too early. <laughs> As he's walking down the tunnel, like, uh, he's like, yeah. "Fuck!" I that was a long fucking tunnel. shit. But right. this, that was a very long it. tunnel. And, and I, <laughs> <laughs> well, there there is one thing in the oh, shot you know where it do- shows the tunnel, and then all of a sudden, the shot like you could tell that there was an edit, like a fast edit. Then all of a sudden, he's uh, he's walking out. Yeah. yeah. You could tell that, but all together, I thought so the tension. So did this motherfucker bullet... go on for three and a half minutes doing that shit? Is that what happened? No, he was probably sitting in there just <laughs> in the like original cut. No, he's probably sitting looking at his watch, like, oh, God damn it. Ding, 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 ding. No, like, the problem the was it was so fucking dark. He's using that bat oh, yeah. as a yeah, walk along. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's a good point. Yeah. That's a good point. That's why that's hell. why you hear all the fucking clanking of the bat. The fucker couldn't see in the goddamn tunnel. Well, you don't hear during the fast that is him tripping over a fucking truck. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, <laughs> that would have been funny though. That would have been that'd be good for a spoof movie. That out, would be the spoof like, movie for yeah. no. yeah. you know, no, sure. Like, maybe, oh fuck sorry, man. No, maybe, <laughs> maybe that's what happened. He actually tripped over a Jewish family on his way out of the there tunnel. <laughs> hey, Bear Jew, you, hey, Bear Jew, you all right in there? That's where he got Anne Frank's signature. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Ragnar, go ahead and end this up. Oh, shit. All right. Um, enjoyment for this movie is a five. Very easily a five. Um, this is everything that they put that he put into this fucking movie was amazing, I think. Um, the build up to um, the very end of the movie the interaction with everyone who didn't know they were actually interacting with other people. Um, the, the score for it sets an amazing fucking tone. Yes. Of, um, of what the scenes will, are going to be like, I think, um, and he's, it, he's actually reused those tones in other movies too. Yeah. It said, yeah, it does. Um, it, it gives you a different feel. Mm-hmm. Than a lot of other scores would, and if they had used um, something else, the in uh, so critical for this. Like I think, as well as good as this movie is, uh, there's just a cunt hair missing off of it. Yeah, barely anything. Um, so for me, critical <clears throat> uh, four and a half on it, and that's that's like fucking very strong yeah. um it's it's the little bit is so minuscule though that it it the little things just add up and, that's, it's, that's, and it's not many that's the thing it's not a yeah. whole lot that adds up to it that's why i did a 4.75 because i thought it was just like like a 25 percent yeah that w- just a smidge of things that could be done differently but i think it was near perfect in yeah. my opinion so it, it, it's really things that uh can't pinpoint per se let's say watermelon 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 he's drinking watermelon juice right now. he didn't even know it it doesn't even taste like watermelon oh look at that you like watermelon i I was trying not to interrupt you i apologize we're uh slowly adjusting your taste buds yes probably (laughs) watermelon hasn't been bothering me as much as it used to Moving up in the world. We right. appreciate you, Ron. God damn it, I'm fucked up. Just yes, Junior. You are. are you driving home? Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> little Miss Crystal. Um, Thank you, baby. So, yeah. like there's And the three records. The little nuances. <laughs> it's not much. Yeah. It's very fucking little, but four and a half. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Top three would be this one, Hateful Eight, and Reservoir Dogs. Same yes. yeah. So. Yep. Yeah, I think that's pretty much everyone. I was I shocked believe. that Pulp Fiction was on anybody's list for top three. I I'd, was shocked. I'd Kill Bill that. in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Kill yeah, Bill, Kill not but Kill Bill, not, not Kill Bill. Oh no, good. I've seen Kill Bill and one Kill and Bill two. Volume Two. I okay. like better than the first. So I've one. seen five Tarantino movies, and but still, Pulp Fiction would be considered one of my top three. I mean, Pulp Fiction is a great. All the movies are great. I mean, Jackie Brown to me is a very underrated Tarantino film. But I mean, the fact I, I think it's underrated. I mean, it's. It's so good. Yeah, I, I think it's great. Yeah, I think it's one of his. Yeah. It's one. Of, it's it's a very. It, to me, it's underrated because it's not talked about compared to all those other ones. Because other ones are better. True. Yeah. It, it, plus, it's very different from his other movies. When you, his other movies are very like ultra violent, very um, you know, 
the acting is a little bit over the top. <clears throat> but when it comes to Jackie Brown, it seems like it doesn't seem like a Tarantino movie when you watch it. Other than well, the you say once upon a time in Hollywood, it's ultra violent. Yeah, especially at the end when they're. I wouldn't when, say uh, it's the, ultra the, violent. I wouldn't say the film yeah. is ultra violent. The John whole film, but scenes in it. I say scenes in it are okay. ultra violent, but not like the whole film. So. And when you say once upon a time in Hollywood, it's overacting. You might have got me there. No, I'm, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, you might have got me there. I, I just, I, it, it's a very different movie compared to his other movies. You can, if you watch that and you watch all his other ones, he was like, I didn't know that was a Tarantino film. All of them, I think, are different than other ones. Than, than other ones, they, they all feel no, like Tarantino no, 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 no. films. I, I just they agree. have a feel. They have I, the same. I feel similar like feel. all of them have. I feel a like feel. all the ones. No, I feel like all the ones in the 2000s and up almost have like a same type of formula. The way that it, it you could tell that it's a Tarantino film, especially with the chapter. You know, he that started with Kill Bill. The other movies didn't do that. Kill Bill yeah. started with the chapters, and almost every movie he's done has got chapters now. But Reservoir Dogs feels like it's come from the same person as uh, Once Upon a Time. I'm going from, you know, early to recent. Okay. Uh, I they, mean, I, they I, feel I, I, like the same style. It, the same to me, person. I don't see that. I, the, I see the dialogue, uh, but not the way that it, he's... No, even the filming, I would say it, it they're similar patterns that no, a person okay. enjoys See, the thing about reservoir dogs and pulp fiction those two are very similar in a way because especially when he's basically the, the film's out of order both films are out of order they're going yes. back and forth the other films don't do that well kill bill does it a little bit yeah kill bill does it a little bit but the other movies don't Definitely. they're they're actually like a full sequence in the movie the those earlier movies actually are out of order and how especially pulp fiction that's like all over the fucking place to the point where it's like it doesn't go in a full sequence no, I wouldn't say that it doesn't go in full sequence. I think I would say that if you have a very if you have a straight line like this, yeah, right. Here is one storyline mm -hmm. that you're seeing, right? But then it jumps over and back, yeah, right, to pick up where you saw the interaction. Yeah, from, well, they all they all they all storyline they all interlock. Yeah, yeah. So I wouldn't say that they that it's out of order. I would say that it's in good order. You're just doing a quick recap on the next scene before it moves. Okay, forward. I see what you're saying by that. Yeah, I see what you're saying. And you're having a better understanding of the motivations. Yeah, of the way the characters have gotten to the point they are. <coughs> Pulp Fiction did that really well. Yeah, no, yeah. they did. Well, when, that one did more of it more than any of the other of his films, yes, in my opinion. I will absolutely agree with you on that. What would but, you call it though? Is there a certain type of filming that is? I mean, I je ne sais quoi. It feels almost guerrilla style, very in yeah. your face, very you know hard hitting yeah. like that, and bouncing around. Yeah, um, that's probably the closest way I would describe it. Okay, um, but it still doesn't feel quite right. Another film no. that's like another no. film that's like that is uh, uh, Oliver Stone's Alexander. That one is back and that's all over the place too. Twelve Monkeys. Oh, yes. so good. Yes. 12 Monkeys, yes. Yo, That's what movie, movie would you like to see redone by Tarantino? None of redone? them. Redone? None. No? None of them. None. I appreciate... No, not of his own. Like, no, 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 no. I appreciate his own, Tarantino his own putting his own no. voice out there. I appreciate Some it. other... His no, 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 I mean, his own movies that he makes himself yeah. are, like, his style. And yeah. original. And They're original. also original. Yeah, I anything, don't want to see him rehashing, he does. completely rehashing something else. Yeah, and paying homage to stuff, that's fine. Yeah, but that's him good. rehashing an established Honestly, story, I would say I that's the mark of a great director, though. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. It, when you have a director that has such a strong signature style that, you know, you could try and sit down, man, I wonder if they could do this better or that better or that better. And it's not that they could do it better, but it would be kind of an insult to their, to their style. Yeah. yeah. And the and the fact that he's not just a director, but also yeah, a the, great the, fucking writer, mm -hmm. right? The history that, they, yes. that they've really gone with, it would be an insult to. That's when you know yeah. that they they yeah. they've hit greatness. That's why I'm excited, and I'm also very worried about his final film. The I'm, movie critic, yeah. I am. I, I'm excited to see it. Him wrap up his legacy. Do you think he's just going to say, a, fuck it? No, he's done. He's retiring and after this. No, no, I mean, in, for the movie. No, no. because No, it, he's going to put it all into it. He'll put it all into it, but it does always take a chance, especially every great director has a flop. Mm -hmm. Every great director has some piece of steaming 
horse shit. What would you say his his flop? So far, nothing. That's the problem. That's what I'm scared about. No, there there is. What, it, I wouldn't say it's a flop. No, that's his a piece least. Of, no, something that we everybody agrees is a piece of shit and doesn't understand how this fucking person made this, that steaming pile of horse shit. Okay, well that's true. That that's true about Tarantino. But if you were to say his least favorited movie, a lot of people would say Death Proof. Which doesn't make sense because that's a good fucking movie. Because I, it's, it's it's a, a very but it's it is telling it and trying to reach a very specific uh, audience who appreciates the old grindhouse that films of the type of films. Yeah, he did a wonderful job up. at it. No, very amazingly, which I don't won, get because I didn't grow smaller. up with those kind of films, but I enjoy it. Yeah, yeah have but you seen a, grindhouse? But most people. Yeah. Well, then that's another. That's a fourth Tarantino well, movie you've fuck seen. Me. Okay, I can't count. God you've damn, seen I'm hammered. Most of his fucking films, apparently. All right, bet. Um. No, but I just, I'm very fucking worried because I have enjoyed every Tarantino film. So that means that this is going to be his last. And you look at history. Statistically, every director has something that's a piece of shit. If this is going to be his last and I've enjoyed all his other ones, that means that should be the piece of shit but what if it ends and I'm up like, being no <laughs> what if it ends up being the I'm the hoping it's going to be biggest wonderful. masterpiece I'm hoping it's going to be wonderful well the first of all the thing is it's yeah, about that, a movie this critic this could still be his coup de grace and it very well could be but thing. then how disappointed am I going to be if he sticks to his guns and I never see another fucking Tarantino film after this yeah we'll see what happens would, would you, right. wouldn't you have liked it if he did that Star Trek his version of Star Trek it would have been so it was different. I know I was so excited if he ever did that, but I knew but what he was also happen. talking about that. I that just asked count. you if there's something you'd like to see directed by him. Well, he was originally there, no, there no, was no, plans of him doing a, a, a it was that like a R-rated remake or something like that. No, he was going to be a, a Star Trek a part of the movie. series. Yes. Okay, all right, yeah, it wasn't going to be a remake or I, anything. Yeah. I retract my statement then. <laughs> but he it was already saying if he did that, he wasn't going to count that as one of his one of his ten. Oh, see, I didn't hear that. Oh, yeah, no, he said that it wouldn't, I, I wouldn't have counted it as one of my ten because oh. he's been saying forever, hey, I'm going to make him ten films and I'm done. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't want to be because <clears throat> that exact reason I'm saying I don't want to go too long where I make a piece of shit. <laughs> well, I'm going to say this flat out. <laughs> this was a fun episode. Honestly, the odds are stacked against him. Yeah, yeah, they are, and he's somehow. I mean, how long has he been directing? Since 1991, 92. I think Reservoir Dogs came out in 92. Or 91. Was that his up. first? Yes. That was his first was movie. Was it? Reservoir Dogs? 92. Okay, so when that's what I came out. I was right. So he yeah. directed right, in So 91. for the last 30 years. Yes. He's been directing. Only yeah. 10 movies. He's done something. But he's really spaced them out. He's really spaced out his movies, but he... Yeah, went, every he, three years. On average. Has it been on three average. years? On, on average. average. If it's doing it for 30 years. 10 films. Okay, uh, every see, three years. Yeah. Pulp, all right, so Pulp Fiction came out in '94, and we're then, saying on average ten films, yeah, thirty I, years. I, I know. Three. It's just, I know there don't, was a, there was a larger gap than that. Than there three is. years. I think it was like four or five I know. years. This is the the mathematically yeah. average. Yeah, I, mathematical I, I average. Saying. Yeah, yeah. But well, we also have the tenth one hasn't come out yet. So it's recording this fall. No, I know. But so it's going to be so less it's filming than, fall or more than three years between on average. Because as of right now, who's yeah, who, it, it, who's it came it? out ninety two, which means twenty twenty two will be thirty. He hasn't cast anybody yet. No, right. so it might be twenty twenty four, twenty twenty five before the critic comes out. Well, he's filming it. He's filming it in the fall. But once again, uh, so I'm saying, but once the editing everything's done, you're looking at twenty twenty four, twenty twenty five before he comes out. It'll probably be twenty four, uh, potentially. And also, it we don't know if it's actually going to be filming this fall. We're still waiting on the writer's truck to be done. Damn, that's, that's right. That's the big thing. That's actually been halting a lot of shit lately. Yeah. I mean, I think it's... Be ready been. for another major push of reality TV. Wasn't that also... The, yeah, that, that was back that's in already two, happened. Wasn't that yeah. back in 2008, I believe? When yeah, they had the other right. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. When, like, uh, a lot of the... the lo- Ruined a lot of fucking potential. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the end of our uh, episode for uh, Inglorious Bastards. Call. Ragnar. <laughs> Great job, buddy. Seriously. This very was a good very episode. fun episode. Very fun, very full of punishment shots. One of our uh, this felt like one of our classic, like regular episodes. Seriously. As, As they, they all fucking should. One? No, it, the fact that we had all these punishment shots, we had the comedy. Th- this just this was a fun episode. I'm, so I'm we're saying we need to give you more punishment blast. shots in the future. Yeah. To have a classic, you know, fun episode. I mean, that's our show. Punish me. Oh, all please, right. So please don't kill you heard me. that. You just heard it, right? All right. He just asked for it. Uh, give him the wheel. Oh shit! It's <laughs> it's right there. I shouldn't have said. Hey, hey, hey over there. In the wheel. Over there. That's God, the you should get a punishment shot for that, right? Fuck. Oh my! What? So we're ending with a punishment Watch shot. Yourself.
Let's do this fucking thing. <laughs> Cock shot, here you come. <laughs> Cock shot? No. Damn it. Crystal picks. You Fuck. can you can put it in the cock. Can you be oh. nice to me, please? I was nice to you earlier. I can be mean now. Yes, Fuck. you yes. can. Can you mind handing me that little jar? <laughs> little jar. Oh. Uh oh. You can put it in a cock. Uh oh. No. She can. can. It's, no. Her pick. it's her pick. If I wanted you to sit this out of your wife's shoe, you would. Oh, God, God damn. damn. Shoe, she I would make would you her bitch. <laughs> it's the only time I Just like so, it, so you know. Yes. All right. <laughs> no, let's keep talking yeah. while we wait. I mean, we gotta wait. Yes. So, are you happy? No, 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 no. Producer Ron trying to dip the fuck out. I don't think so. No, we are. No, this is gonna be a pleasant, yes, pleasant wait time. Yes. So, Ron, you Crystal glides across the room. Hey, you know what? Looking for liquor. Going in the going, ending the show with a bang. There you go. So. We're banging? What? You got some dynamite ready uh, to go. Ending the show with a bang. What the like fuck? The way you your... were like, no. <laughs> You're like, really? <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's what I've been waiting for. Uh, I've been waiting for this moment my whole life. Oh Bottom bit chase. <laughs> Crystal, look away. <laughs> Crystal, look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> It's already rolling. Yeah, we're there we go. <coughs> this is nice. This is nice. Oh, man. Yeah. These are good times. Yes. Good times. Good times, man. Good should, times. Should have kept my mouth shut. I gotta pick up another bottle of this. Glorious <laughs> BAF. Is it almost done? Yeah. Got Which a, a, a finger. The drum shampoo. What episode uh, is that? Gunpowder. Gunpowder. Ah, uh, no, I remember what episode that was. That was uh, from um, the fan request. Was it a fan request? Yeah. Where we were drinking gin all night long. Was it? All oh, no, night no. long. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. The one where the guy, or where the all office night. building, where yeah, everybody's fighting each other. Yeah, that was a fan request. That was me. I, I was something I suggested on a, like a throwaway episode, wasn't it? No, he, he requested Okay, so this looks was like. What not you that requested? Spring Spring moonshine from Walking Dead. that you Cheers. mentioned pink lemonade to. Not bad. Okay. It may not be bad, but it's strong as shit. Well, it is, but it's not bad. What is it? What? That is. A Did you frame request that, little, that episode? The majority of it is a little jar. This that is a splash yeah, there of you, the yeah. margarita watermelon mix with the. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. No, I think that episode was just okay. me just no, coming across it. I could have sworn it was a fan request. What, that we were drinking gin I don't all think night? it was. It was the, the, the tea thing you were drinking. No, no, no. The one that we were drinking gin all night was Christmas Vacation. No, the um the one with Glenn from Walking Dead in the office building. And that was Mayhem. His Mayhem. Thing. There you go. I didn't request that. I thought you did. Vicious Fun. He requested Vicious Fun. Then somebody else requested that one. Mayhem? No, I think I that threw was on that you. one. That was you. Wrong. No, I because I no, it, it, might, it might have been you. Yeah, that's, that's it. I I, I, I definitely saw man before you. Did. Make, I remember you talked about it though. Yeah, yeah. you were standing in line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I told you, you know, we, you know, fuck it, let's do a fucking throwaway episode on this because I think it's a fun fucking movie. It was a fun episode. Yeah. All right. Well, that's the end of our show, guys. Thank you for joining us, and we will see you guys later. Later. Fuck off. Bye. Hey guys, thank you for listening to our episode in our season three of Barrel Age Flicks. If you like our show, please leave a five-star rating on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Guys, this helps out enormously. Give us a follow on Instagram at Barrel Age Flicks Podcast. If you would like to send us a special film request, please contact us via Instagram and we will give you a personal shout out on the show. We are also on Facebook and Twitter. Our podcast is available on Apple Podcasts, Buzzsprout, Google Podcasts, Audible, Pocket Cast, Spotify, CastBox, iHeartRadio, and Pandora. Special thanks to Carl Casey at White Bat Audio on YouTube for his awesome music. This guy fucking rocks. Check him out. Want to give a shout out to Sammy, one of our guest hosts on the show who does our amazing album art. Thank you, Sammy. Our podcast only exists because of listeners like you. To find other great shows, head over to deluxeeditionnetwork.com. Hope you join us for our next episode. Later, guys.